dethrone number six Hutch. Nobody thought they'd come in here and win today. That win in 2016 was the springboard for the Brockbusters going all the way to the national championship game. It also set up some dramatics in the meeting the following year. Emmons dots the offset eye, will roll to the right and walk into the end zone. B.J. Emmons, his fourth rushing touchdown, and Hutchinson has a 13-point third quarter lead. Wilson in the shotgun, first and goal from the 10. The fade, back right corner, and Kilby's got it. Against Jackson, touchdown Garden City with 2.11 to go. Blockbusters still have life, fourth and four. This is the game down 31-28 with 31 seconds. On the Hutch 23, shotgun for Wilson, takes the snap, back to pass, under pressure, eludes a sack, throws at the last second, incomplete. Under pressure was Jeff Mario Brown that rolled him to the ground, putting the pressure on Wilson, and for the second straight week, Garden City on their final drive will fall short. Then in 2018, the Brockbusters had another breakthrough. And again, it went through Gowan Stadium and Hutch. Snap to more play action, rolls right, looks, fires over the middle. He's got one at the 10, to the five, bouncing back left to the end zone. Is he in? Yes! Touchdown, Dominique Watt. The first pass attempt of the afternoon, a 22-yard missile from David Moore, and the Brockbusters of PAT away from tying it up. And off to Jackson on a counter right, finds some room, 10, cuts back left to the five, breaks the tackle, And Hutchinson finds themselves back on top. Then a season-saving drive, engineered by David Moore. Moore, shotgun snap, here comes the blitz. Stands up and fires, has a man, caught by Booker to the 28. Helmet high snap, four-man rush. Moore steps up, looks left, has a man, Jones, 25. Dances back left to the hash mark, 21, and stretches near the 20. Lock running, 30 seconds. Moore, snap, looks left, fires, end zone, he's got West! Touchdown, Garden City! Charles West on an out pattern left, and a dart from David Moore! We were down in the clock at almost a delay a game. Great calling, great catch, great yeah. win. So now 2019, the fifth-ranked Brockbusters and the high-flying Dragons meet again. Cox again protected well, wobbles one to the right, wide open is Link, he's got it 30. Right sideline 20, 10, 5! Touchdown! Here comes the waist high snap. Back to pass is right. Now he's going to run with it. He's got some room to run. 20. Down the way down to the five. Touchdown! Right from way outside. I mean, he just tucked it away and went. Minican Rhodes. Garden and Hutch. Next. The matchup a lot of people have been waiting for possibly to decide a conference championship. Still some things that need to be decided between now and the regular season finale, but today, number five, Garden City, number four, Hutch. Blue Dragons right now, at one point this year, ranked number one for the first time in program history. Meantime, the Brockbusters with a preseason number three. They are sitting at number five after dropping to as low as number 18. They have won five consecutive games, and they have not been close, including that blowout win over Coffeeville last week. Back on the pregame show here at Brockbuster Stadium alongside John Ford, C.D. DeSavo, Mike Philosoff. It is that time to check today's starting lineups. Let's meet the Bronkbusters offensive starters. Touchdown, Garden City. Nate Cox, quarterback, sophomore, Lafayette, Louisiana. Ramon Jefferson, running back, Russia, sophomore, Bronx, New York. Bryce Parker, athlete, sophomore, Duarte, California. MJ Link, wide receiver, Russia, freshman, Lakeland, Florida. DeAndre Wallace, wide receiver, sophomore, Waterbury, Connecticut. Troy Lyon Johnson, wide receiver, sophomore, St. Petersburg, Florida. Julian Clark. Tackle, redshirt freshman, Jacksonville, Florida. Richard Merritt, offensive guard, sophomore, Maryland. Mason Hachi, center, sophomore, Hollywood, Hawaii. Lamonte DeCour, O-line, redshirt freshman, Columbus, Ohio. Andrew Theobald, offensive line, freshman, Boise, Idaho. Now it's time to meet the Brockbuster's starting defense. Intercepted, under pressure, Hanson, and he's sacked. 
Charlie Gay, defensive end, sophomore, Seattle, Washington. Darius Johnson, nose, freshman, Spokane, Washington. Joel Riley, defensive tackle, sophomore, Durham, North Carolina. Ryan McClain, defensive end, sophomore, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Willie Hampton, sophomore, linebacker, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Rashawn Merriweather, middle linebacker, red shirt, sophomore, St. Louis, Missouri. Jerry Jones, Rover, sophomore, Lakewood, New Jersey. Bernard Bozeman, cornerback, sophomore. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. DJ McCullough, DB, redshirt sophomore, Tampa, Florida. Anthony Jordan, free safety, redshirt sophomore, Baltimore, Maryland. Kenny White, safety, sophomore, Pittsburgh, PA. There's the starting offense and defense for Garden City. Bruce Pinko of the White House. Today at midfield as the captains are out there, they've set to flip the coin. And with that, John, let's go ahead and get into the keys to today's game. Well, Mike, I'll, I'll tell you what, this is something I've been wanting to see all year, and I think it's a big key. How are we going to do against exceptional talent? Um, we're going up against one of the best teams in the nation. They uh, Obviously, their accolades in preseason and during the season. Have Garden been City great. has won the toss and deferred their choice to the second half. Hutchison will receive. They have been, uh, you know, big time and... and uh, so it gives us a, a chance to see where we're at. And uh, uh, you know what? Uh, there's a lot of good things that can happen if we are successful today. And uh, you know, part of the fun of being successful is going through the journey of it and being able to play a great team like this. And so, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to be interested to see how we step up to the challenge. Let's go down to CD DeSavo. Final word before kickoff. Well, guys, 51 degrees. Feels like 45 wind out of the south southwest, 19 miles per hour. It's definitely one of the chillier games here at Bronkbuster Stadium this season. And it was snowing earlier this week, so Hutchinson gets the football first. They will be moving from left to right, going north to south into that wind. It's the 78th all-time meeting. Garden City leads 39-38. And the Brockbusters have won two out of the last three, 2016 and then 2018. They have not beaten Hutch at home, though, since 2007. We will meet the Blue Dragons here in just a second. Garden City in the black pants and shirts, the gold helmets. Hutch ranked fourth in the country. We're in the white tops with the red and blue on the sleeves. The white helmet with the Blue Dragon in blue with the red, white, and blue stripe on the top of the helmet. So the Brock Pressers looking for their first win at home against Hutch since 2007. Hutch at one point this year was ranked number one for the first time in program history. Dos Santos Eris has it on the tee. Tyan Evans is back deep. And because of the win, Adrian Hopper is holding the ball for Dos Santos Eris. And don't expect Evans to get the ball. He leads the nation in return average. And the delay is the, there's still 10 seconds left on the clock. So Bruce Pinkall, who's a veteran referee, doing this for a long time, keeping it by the book. And here we go. Rock Presses need a win out to win the conference title. A win here by Hutch. And they pretty much cemented it. On their feet at Brockbuster Stadium and a short pop fly kick. And it's fumbled by Hutch. Did the Brockbusters jump on it? I believe they did. Waiting for the official signal. And it caught Hutch totally off guard as they uncover the bodies. And the Brockbusters have it. And it's the guy that was holding the football, Adrian Hopper. Well, that's quite a start, Michael. I'll tell you what, what was interesting is he fair caught the ball, but he ended up dropping the ball. And when you drop the ball, it becomes everybody's right to the ball, you know? So I think two Hutch players ran into each other. So Garden City starts on the plus side of the 50. Get to the Hutch starting defense here in just a second. Rockbusters first and 10 after the Hutch mistake. The Hutch 45, the Blue Dragons run a 4-3 defense. Cox in the shotgun. Ramon Jefferson behind him. Handed for Jefferson, off left tackle. Breaking tackles to the outside, right to the Hutch 32. And ridden down on the near side by Jerome Sprackens, the middle linebacker. That's a gain of about 13 and a first down. 
I'll tell you what, uh, Ramon Jefferson, as he's breaking through the line, takes on one of the linebackers and knocks him right on his rear end. I don't think the linebacker was planning for that to happen. Kamari Gaines, Deontay Gibson, the defensive ends, Latrell Bankson and Rodney Matthews, the interior lineman. LeVar Gardner. You guys would talk ahead, about Chitty. winning the offensive and defensive side of the football. What about special teams as well? Win them all. Gardner, Spragans, and Anthony Green are the linebackers. We'll get to the corners here in a second. First and 10, Garden from the Hutch 33. And it off for Ramon Jefferson. Plunges up the middle and he backs his way into the 29. Right up the left hash. Tackle made by Rodney Matthews after a gain of about four. It's second down and six. Let's get you the rest of that starting defense for Hutch. Ronald Williams and Justin Gardner are the corners. Ja'Corian Bennett and Katron Allen are the safety men. As good as Hutch's defense is and the run defense, these corners are really good. Justin Gardner's a three-star transfer from Oregon State. Ronald Williams is another three-star guy who has 22 offers, including Alabama. Second and six, Garden on their opening drive at the Hutch 29, moving right to left. Two receivers right, tight end left. Parker now the H-back left. Half diamond for Cox, gives it for Jefferson. Running left behind a block from Parker. And a helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision at the Hutch 23. And that was Spragans coming up from his linebacker spot after a gain of six. It's third down and short. He's very close to a first down. Jefferson really shook up on that play. Yeah, he got dinged right in the head. That's your power back. Yep. Here comes Ellis Merriweather. Still no Jaden Hayes in the game. So now third down and really less than a yard. The ball is inside the 24. They have to get it very close to the 23. So third and six inches with 13-12 to go in the Wildcat. first quarter. And it is Jaden Hayes in the game with Merriweather to his right. Troy Von Johnson comes left. Jumbo package with three tight ends. An early movement on third and short, and it's a false start. Mike, those are the type of mistakes. They magnify in a game like this. And Garden said he's backing up, so they were not induced. Not sure what the discussion is about. I don't either. False start, offense, number seven. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. There was also a delay game. That penalty would be declined. Double edged sword, third and six now. Garden from the Hutch 29 on the left hash. Cox backs up in the shotgun now. Ooh. Thanks ref, <laughs> three receivers right, two left. Cox in the gun. Hutch rushes three, drops eight. Cox floats one left. It's caught by Kevon Dingle, and he's got a first down of the Hutch 21 left sideline in front of LeVar Gardner. That's a gain of eight on third down and six as the ringing in my ears is finally calmed down. What? Exactly. <laughs> nice soft toss. Yes, I was going to say that was beautiful touch by Cox. Right over a linebacker's hand. So Garden said he has the football only because Hutch bobbled that short kick and Adrian Hopper recovered. Now the Brockbusters first and 10 at the Hutch 21. Slot right Dingle, wide right Link. Shotgun for Cox, Merriweather on his left hip. Jaden Hayes on his right. And Hutch is in the neutral zone. Free play for Cox, Rainbows, back right corner for Link, incomplete. Should have been off sides against Hutch. It I think, is. I think Merriweather moved to the well, if that was the case, they would have stopped the play. Yeah, it's on them. Offsides, yep. defense, number 89, five-yard penalty, remains second down. CD, take us through that cadence. That was a hard snap count from Nate Cox. Correction, that was, and it one remains of our guys, first down. One of our guys jumped, so they were brought off, uh, brought offsides because of the offsides. Well, it, you know, you can't get them all right, right? Yeah. First and five, Garden at the Hutch 16, no score. 12 20 left, first quarter. Link split right with Dingle. Shotgun for Cox. Tight end left is Bryant. Hutch with a five man front. Give it to Hayes. Trying to sweep left, and he is buried behind the line of scrimmage. Anthony Green, the outside linebacker, two year starter at Burkmar High School in Lithonia, Georgia, rips him down on the left hash after a loss of five. It's second down and 10. Somebody might want to block him next time. The of the play, we'll bring up second down Nobody touched him. I mean, was, he had a free ride right to... 
That's what you call a total a whiff. Yeah. Second and 10, Garden City from the Hutch 21. Dingle, wide right, slot right, Johnson. Parker split left with MJ Link. Nate Cox changing the play, the play clock at 10. Hutch stemming around on defense. Cox in a balance coverage. Hands. Chest high snap, looks left. Foes left incomplete on a crossing pattern right to left on the numbers for Parker. Dragging in coverage that time for Hutch was Catron Allen, the safety who transferred from Eastern Arizona, played in 12 games last year with 51 tackles. It's third and 10. Garden City this year on third down, converting 41%. Cox in the gun, two by two. To his right is Hayes. Parker now the tight end left. Shotgun snap to Cox, play action. Three-step drop, under pressure and sacked. That is a rare sack. They came with a delayed blitz. And the first one to hit him was Lewis Wallace, the sophomore defensive lineman. Back at the 30, it's a loss of nine. It's fourth and 19. And man coverage, secondary did their job. That's something Tom Minnick talked about, how much man that Hutch will play. And 19. They get to the quarterback for the Blockbusters. That's only their ninth sack allowed. And here's Dos Santos Eris with the win behind him. It's a 47-yard field goal. His long this year, 43 against Ellsworth. Montsevice to hold, ball on the left hash. This to get Garden the lead early. Snap. Back placement good, line drive kick to the upright, and it is no good. He pushed it to the left, so Hutch dodges a major bullet, and they take over with no score, 11.22 to go first quarter. Missed opportunity for Garden City. Yeah, in a game like this, I mean, you need to take advantage of every opportunity you get. That's, uh, Get the starting offense for Hutch. Stevie Young, Demarius Warren, Connor Lears, Robert Lacey, and Jason Turrentine. The starting offensive line, they average 6-7 across. Mitchell Tinley, Tinsley, Cordis Brom, Jalen Roach, the receivers. Aaron Collins, who missed most of last year with an injury, is the starting tailback. And Mark Wright, the transfer from Ellsworth, who twice has been named the Jayhawk Player of the Week and the NJCAA Player of the Week. He's the starting quarterback. First and 10, Hutch moving left to right. Right hash at their own 30-yard line. Two receivers left to right. Right in the shotgun. He motions Collins out. Takes the snap and drops back. Looks over the middle incomplete. Merriweather had the coverage on Brom. Meantime, it was Ryan McLean and Eli Hill putting pressure on right at second and ten. Really good pressure right over the middle. This offensive line has been pretty good for Hutch. They've given up 11 sacks, second and 10 Blue Dragons. They ought to be good. They average over 300 pounds. At their own 30 yard line. Again, two by two. Pistol eye for right. Back to, well, he hands it off to Collins. Coming to the near side right. Breaks a couple of tackles to the numbers at 36. And tackled in the open field by DJ McCullough. He and Collins have some extra words. Gain of six, it's third and four. That's a big tackle by McCullough. Yeah, there yeah. wasn't much containment on the outside. Because I'll tell you what, there was a lot of green in front of him, wasn't there, third, down and four at the third and four Hutch for their own 36. Three receivers stacked left. Right in the pistol. Chest high snap, give it to Collins, hit at the line and dropped. Eli Hill hit him first and a suplex tackle for a loss of a yard. Right hash at the 35, it's fourth and five. Tremendous penetration by Eli Hill, and the Blue Dragons go three and out. Garden City's defense, that's the 43rd time this year they have forced a three and out. 36% of the time they've done it. Nolan Arrington to punt. The ever so dangerous Troy Von Johnson is back deep for Garden. 10-10 to go first quarter, no score between number four Hutch and number five Garden. High snap and a rugby style kick, low line drive into the win. Bounces right towards the numbers and takes a Garden City hop to the 40-yard line. Brockbusters after a 25-yard punt. Nothing on the return. 9.53 to go here in a scoreless first. And Garden City has the football back moving from right to left. Michael, I'll, I'll be interested to see if we go back to the run again. I mean, we didn't have very much luck passing the ball. 
Well, they did on that third down play that they converted after the false start, but question in. Ramon Jefferson is back in, so that's good news. Taking that helmet-to-helmet -helmet shot. First and 10, Garden moving right to left, south to north with the wind behind him and a scoreless first on the right hash of the 40. That's the Garden City 40. Tight left is Dingle. Tight right is Johnson. Pistol eye for Cox, who now lines up in the shotgun. Johnson in motion right to left. Jet sweep toss to Johnson. Coming to the near side left. Tries to turn the corner with a 360 spin move. And he darts out at the 42 of Garden City. Run out there by Isaiah Todd after a gain of about a yard. It's second down to nine. You can see the speed on the outside from Hutch. Yeah, and uh, I'll tell you what, Hutch has got like nine, maybe ten people in the box right now. Second down and nine, Garden. Last week threw for 300 yards. Hutch's entire coaching staff was in the stands. MJ Link, their leading receiver, goes right, slot right, with the South Florida transfer, Kevon Dingle. Half diamond for Nate Cox. Behind him is Jefferson. Give it to Ramon. Up the middle. Bouncing right. Hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Might have lost a yard. Latrell Bankson got penetration. Sophomore from Woodstock, Georgia. Rated as the number three Juco defensive tackle. Tom Minnick was raving about him all week. Loss of a yard. It's third and ten. Mike, you can start to see what Hutch's uh, game plan is. I mean, they're going to lock us up man-to-man -man on the outside and then... Uh, crowd the box with as many people as they can to stop the run. But you've got to take advantage of that too. I mean, they're daring you to throw the football. You have the utensils you, to, 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 do, to do that. You definitely, I mean, crossing patterns. Third and 10, Garden from their own 40. Cox changing the play, play clock at three. He's got to get it off. Down to two, they might have to call a timeout, and they do. And some miscommunication coming in from the sideline right now for Garden City. With nine minutes to go, first quarter, no score. Timeout, Garden City. That's their first charge of the half. So, just to get you caught up, game started with a little pooch kick from Garden City. Hutch wasn't ready for it, and they fumbled the ball. Garden City recovered it in plus territory and moved it to the Hutch 21. Well, on third down, Nate Cox was sacked by Lewis Wallace, and then Andre Dos Santos Eras, who's was seven of eight kicking field goals up until that point. Missed a 47 yard line drive kick wide left with the wind behind him. Hutch that went three and out. The Broncosters got the ball back, but now facing a third and 10 at their own 40. And again, the Broncosters this year, 14th of the country converting on third down. Third and 10 from their own 40 yard line. Dingle wide left on the numbers, slot left Johnson, wide right link. Bryce Parker is the tight end right. Shotgun for Cox. Hutch with three down linemen. Cox changing the protection. Takes the snap. Delayed blitz again. This time they pick it up. Cox rolls to his right. Under pressure. Floats to the sideline. And coming back to make the catch. Was he out of bounds? Bryce Parker said he got one foot in at midfield. And the official immediately says no. Right up the right sideline. How in the world he came down with that? Now it's fourth and ten. That was an unbelievable catch. And he threw that into heavy traffic. Yep. I'll tell you, it's going to be interesting to see the in-game adjustments that uh, Coach Minnick makes. Look, neither one of these teams expected to come in here and waltz through the other. No. Mitchell Tinsley. We got so many dangerous special teamers on both of these teams to receive the Nathan Hatchie punt. 8.51 to go scoreless. First rush is on and it's blocked by Hutch. Up in the air and it's picked up by the Dragons. 10-5 touchdown. Jonathan White is the one that blocked it, picked it up for a touchdown, and the Blue Dragons strike first on special teams. You might say that was uh, touche. You know, he was in trouble the minute he caught the ball. Not good. And Hutch even had three guys back to receive that kick. Still got there. So basically they got to the punter rushing eight guys. Snap is back, placement is good, and that's blocked. Eli Hill got his hands on it. The Blockbusters blocked the PAT, but Hutch strikes first. And with 8.46 to go here in the first quarter, it's Hunt 6, Garden City nothing on 99.9 The Rock.
Alongside John Ford, C.D. DuSavo, Mike Pilosov, inauspicious start for Garden down 6 nothing after a block punt, now a short kick. And running up to make the catch, Jordan Ford. Like he was shot out of a cannon. And he makes the catch and he's sat across the 35 to the 36. And there was nobody else that was going to make that catch besides Ford. And Garden City starts Jordan across Ford. their own 35. Yeah, well, there was, but they were, they were in white jerseys. The and by the way, it was Ali Gay that blocked that extra point. So now first and 10 for Garden City. They've got to be able to move the football yep. against Hutch. Now down 6 nothing. You know, sometimes I wonder if you can outthink yourself. And, you know, the old, uh, if you're thinking, you're stinking type thing. First, I wonder if we're doing that. First down, Garden from their own 36 yard line, down 6 0. Johnson goes right with Dingle. Link and Parker come left. Shotgun for Cox, takes the snap, fakes it to Hayes, and Cox keeps, runs right to the numbers. 50, 45, and down to the Hutch 41. Ripped Face down mask. by Ronald Williams. And now a flag comes out as well. You might add 15 more as you just heard CD. They mark him down at the Hutch 43. So right now the game, good for 21. You can add 15 more. And Cox was calling for it as soon as he got taken down. Boy, they bid on that zone option fake. Yep. And it was wide open going right for Nate Cox. I'll be honest with you. I, I have a feeling they're going to have to do more of that just to loosen him up a little bit. And guys, Ford now shaken up after uh, taking that Personal handle and kick off the turn. Face mask, defense, 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. It is first down. I wonder if Ford has a stinger because his right arm is limp. That's what they're looking at right now. So a 15-yard penalty puts it at the 28-yard line now. What makes that catch all the more impressive. Yes. <laughs> and one job, he did it. First and 10, Garden. So that play nets 36 at the Hutch 28. Six nothing Hutch with 8.20 to go first quarter. Cox and a half diamond. Jaden Hayes is the tailback. Snap, play action Cox and he is well protected. Floats one left looking for Johnson in coverage and it's almost intercepted. Left sideline at the 10. That one hung in the air. And that allowed Gardner the linebacker to break on it along with Ronald Williams. Second down and 10. Pass is going to be, have to be a little bit tighter and a little bit uh, faster. That throw coming from the far hash mark to the left side of the field. So you got to put a little mustard on that with this secondary. We talked about it. Ronald Williams, 22 offers, Alabama, Auburn, K-State, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, second and 10 garden from the Hutch 28. Half diamond for Nate Cox. Tip tap motion with Dingle. And how about this? Dennis Jackson just shoved one of our offensive linemen backwards. That should be a neutral zone infraction in five free yards. Hutch is trying to key off on something. Yeah, Offsides, are. defense, number 98. In the neutral zone with contact. Five yard penalty, remains second down. And I'll tell you what, Garden knows it. Yeah, whatever Garden's doing, I need, they need to keep doing it. Now second down and five at the Hutch 23. Eight minutes to go here in the first. Six nothing Hutch on a block punt by the Blue Dragons that was returned for a touchdown. Second and five. Inside the Hutch 25, it's a straight up eye. Jaden Hayes is the eye back. They give it to Hayes. Bouncing right to the sideline 20. First down yardage and he steps out at the Hutch 16. Run out on the far side by Ronald Williams after a gain of seven on second down and five and a fresh set of downs. The gain is good to the 16 yard line, which is good for another run buster. First down. Jaden Hayes, the transfer from Arizona Western, lost his father, who passed away after a heart attack his senior year. Had a really good freshman season for Minick in Yuma a year ago. First and 10 Garden. On the Hutch 16, pistol eye for Cox. Parker lines up as the tight end right, Bryant left. Helmet high snap, give it back for Hayes. Jump cut right and swallowed up. Back at the 19 yard line by Bankson. As I mentioned, the number three rated Juco defensive tackle. 19 offers including Iowa State, Oregon State who seems to be the favorite right now. Loss of three, it's second down and 13. That had no chance. Going to the well too many times. <laughs> Look, Tom Minnick said it all week. At some point, you got to be able to throw the ball. You know you can, and you're going to have to do it, especially with the wind behind you. 
here in the first. Second and 13 at the Hutch, 19. No deep safety. This is cover zero right now for Hutch. Hand off for Hayes, hit at the line going backwards and it's Bankston again. They are having a problem blocking him who beat Nathan Hatchie into the backfield in a loss of two, it's third and 15. They're outnumbered in the box. They are. I mean, we're gonna have to throw the ball. We're gonna have to figure it out. Six nothing Hutch, six and a half to go first quarter. You know, one thing we haven't done all year and that is take advantage of the, the middle of the field with our patterns. Third and 15 here from the Hutch, 21. Lincoln Parker right, Dingle and Johnson left with Cox and the shotgun. Four down Lyman, Hutch has eight near the line. Back to pass Cox, steps up and looks left. Pass is incomplete, over the head of Dingle along the numbers at the 10. Ronald Williams was in coverage and now it's fourth down and 15 and here comes Dos Santos Harris again. Very comfortable playing man defense. When you have a defensive front, as Hutch does, you can do that. This from 38, he missed earlier from 47. His long this year, 43. On the right hash with 607 to go to get Garden City on the board down six nothing. Snap back, placement is perfect. The kick towards the uprights this time is no, no good. And he pushed right. it to the right this time. So no Dos Santos Eris has missed two field goals and it remains six nothing Hutch. Yep. Missed that one from 38. As well as this game started out for Garden. It's, it's not going real well right now. I mean, we have let opportunity slip right out of our hands. First and 10 Hutch now moving left to right with 6.01 to go first quarter, leading 6-0. It's Mark Wright with Aaron Collins on his left hip and the shotgun. Snap, quarterback draw, runs up the middle, hit at the 22 left hash, falls forward to the 23 after a pickup of about three. That was Jordan Riley that wrapped him up along with Ali Gay, second down and seven. That was quarterback run all the way. We're gonna try to tempo us. Second down and seven, Hutch at their own 23 yard line. Right in the pistol, offset into his right is Collins. Fake it to Collins, coming back right, and Ryan McClain knocks the ball out. Looks like Hutch fell back on top of it. Ryan McClain put a helmet to the football and it's Kareem Brown that picks it up and as CD said they looked like they ruled him down it's a gain of four it's third and three Brian McClain has been so good all season long for this defensive front 34 tackles eight for loss third and three hutch for their own 27 two receivers left to right Mitchell Tinsley 35 catches for 510 yards comes wide right with right in the shotgun, snap, here comes the blitz, right throws one left and it's incomplete. Had a sidearm that one towards the sideline on the far side of the field. Josh Artis had the coverage, the pass was intended for Kobe Phillips, a backup wideout, and it's fourth and three, and again, big time pressure from that front seven. Michael, that pass was hideous. Whew, that was horrible. I'll tell you what, Garden City's best offense right now is their defense. Yeah. Should be a tie ball game. Yeah, it should be no score. Johnson back deep, awaiting the Nolan Arrington punt. 5.06 to go first quarter. Another rugby style kick. Gets it in the air. Get away from it, Garden City. And it bounces right, takes a hutch roll inside the 40 along the numbers and dies at the 39 of Garden City. That's a 34 yard punt, zero on the return. 4.54 to go first quarter, six nothing hutch. And Garden City has the football back. How about Hutch, who has yet to pick up a first down? Mike, this is what I'm talking about. The in-game adjustment's gonna have to happen quick because uh, uh, we need to take advantage of that man coverage. There, there are certain patterns we can run that would be pretty good for that, that type of defense. First to 10, Garden, right hash, moving right to left, down six nothing at their own 40. Half diamond for Cox, Jefferson is behind him. Hutch crowds the line, and for Jefferson, hit immediately in drop. 
They are keying off on that offensive line. That's Sproggins coming through untouched up the middle. Loss of five at second and 15. Take that play from the playbook and burn it. They're getting beat at the line of scrimmage. But CD, CD, something you pointed out on that last drive. Hutch was playing cover zero. So basically what that tells you, there is no safety in the middle of the field. And they are putting eight, nine, ten guys within seven yards of the line of scrimmage. Second and 15, Garden for their own 35. Four wide, two by two. Cox takes the shotgun snap. Four man twist, well protected. Now the pocket collapses, Cox throws, it's batted up in the air and almost intercepted. Right down the middle looking for Link. As it was batted, Catron Allen had a beat on it. It's third and 15. Mike, you're gonna have to go with some quick passes. I mean, you got this uh, quarterback playing well off our receiver over here. That's good enough for a five, six yard gain. I keep telling Adam Gase as I scream at the TV watching Jets games, stop dropping Sam Donald back 12 steps when you've given up 10 sacks and just go for the easy completion. Well, Hutch has too much speed to sit here and let a play or a pattern develop. You have to do something to cross him up a little bit. Third and 15, Garden down six nothing from their own 35, late here in the first. Five wide, three left, two right. Hutch with four down linemen. They rush four, drop seven. Cox under pressure again. Steps up, runs to his right. 40, 45, cuts back left, and he's very close to the first down. With that extra spin, he might have got it. My goodness. LeVar Gardner trips him up. Nate Cox on third and 15, runs for 16, and a blockbuster first down. Gain of 15 on the play, it is just good enough for a blockbuster wow. first down. That's the best description you'll get all day. Yeah. Wow. Or yep. <laughs> Dynamite broadcasting right over there. First and 10, Garden City, right hash at midfield, down six and nothing. Ten, Three and a half to go first quarter. Guess what we're gonna do, we're gonna run. Cox under center, straight up by, link the single wide out left. Toss sweep left to Jefferson. Tries to get the edge, spins back right, nothing there. And it's Spragans again that twists him down carrier. shoulder pad high at the Garden City 46, outside the left hash, loss of four more, and it's second and 14. Mike, we can't keep playing behind the stakes, man. And you made a good point earlier, Mike. They're so good at getting the outside with their lateral movement. They got a lot of speed. Yeah, they are quick, and they are daring you to throw it. And to John and to CD's point, we've said it all year, the middle of the field, now they're playing, they've got two safeties. For the most part, the middle of the field's going to be open. Second yeah. and 14, Garden for their own 46. And the Blockbusters have to use their second timeout here in the first quarter, it has not been an efficient Time opening out. period. Garden City, that's their second charge of the half. You know, when you're so amped up, here's, here's a couple of di different things that are playing against Garden City right now, and it might be playing into why Hutch does not have a first down yet. Hutch's offensive play calling has been pretty conservative, knowing the fact that they are going into the wind. The second quarter, that will obviously change. Garden City, meantime, has two minutes and 51 seconds to try and do something with that win behind him. Now, I don't know if the wind is as bad as it was against Independence, but when you're down 6 nothing and you've had the field position that Garden City has had, you have to take advantage of it some way or another, and the Blockbusters have missed two field goals. And I'll tell you what, what does this do for Hutchinson's mentality? I mean, their mindset is, hey, we can we can make mistake after mistake because Garden isn't good enough offensively to beat us now. After the timeout, Garden City has one remaining. They're second. not willing to make an adjustment. Second and 14, left hash. Garden City moving right to left at their own 46. Dingle goes right. Troy Von Johnson comes left. Jahiel Heel is one tight end to the left. Half diamond for Cox. Takes the snap, hands for Hayes, up the middle. Trip falls forward for maybe two. That's Spragans again. And they say the knee touchdown left hash at the 47s. So only picks up a yard. Wrong, now it's third and long again, third and 13. Jeremy Spragans with a stop. Spragans, who is second on the team with 45 tackles, has a fumble recovery in two out of the last three games. He himself has forced three turnovers in the last three games. Third and 13, Garden. At their own 47, they are two of five on third down. 
They picked one up on this drive. It was third and 15. Link, Hayes, Parker right. Dingle and Johnson left. Hayes trots in motion right to left. Cox in the gun, here comes the blitz. Back to pass, screen left, caught by Hayes. 45-50, blockers out in front, 40. Cuts it back to the middle of the field. He can't keep his footing. Has a first down going back to the right, to the left hash. And it was Gardner that tripped him up. What a call though on third and 13 by Mike Orthman. They pick up the first down on a gain of 23. That was a great call. Hayes doesn't lose his footing, that's gonna be a touchdown. How do you alleviate pressure, John? Just say, hey, that's a good way. The first old screen pass. 150 to go, first quarter, 6 0 Hutch. First and 10 Garden, left hash at the Blue Dragon 30. Johnson right. Kevon Dingle comes left with a half diamond for Cox. Chest high snap, play action. All day to throw. Looks right, throws right. He's got Johnson. Turns the corner, 10. Back left to the. 10 yard line, Troy Von Johnson slips again and he beat Ronald Williams for a gain of 20 and a first down. What do we Is got? there we a got flag a down? Just against Garden City. It might be against Garden. There's a flag on the play. Holding, offense, number six. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Remains first down. As I'm Bryce Parker. Garden City has been working the long down and distance the entire quarter. Yeah. 129 to go here in the first. Six nothing Hutch. First and 20 Garden City. Left hash at the Hutch 40 as the wind blows the ball off the line of scrimmage. Link, Johnson go right. DeAndre Wallace comes left. Cox in the shotgun to his left is Jefferson. Hutch rushes four, drops seven. Cox looks left and fires, incomplete. Hands were there early on Wallace, and there's the flag. Up the sideline at the 30-yard line. That's on like Justin over. Gardner, absolutely. He came from behind, and he got there about two seconds too early. How in the world can you not call that? That flag came out very so, late. You know what? I'll bet they're going to eat that flag. They didn't pick it up. Here's the call. No, it's pass interference. Good. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number six. 15-yard penalty. It is first down. I stand corrected. Then they move the ball up to the 25-yard line, and it's good for a blockbuster. First down. I'll tell you what, I didn't see the face mask. I saw the interference. That's not an automatic first down. It's still now first and five. They don't move the chain. So first, first down, down five. Garden at the Hutch 25 yard line. Hutch is trying to call timeout. Did they get it off? And now the official's talking. It should be first and five. They never move the chains. Timeout, Hutchison. But here's the That's thing. That's their first charge of the half. John, it was a personal foul. So don't you move the chains? Uh. Get the rule book out. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I... They say, yeah, they said it was personal foul. Yeah, personal uh, foul. Incidental. But, but see how that CD where you're standing, you can see it better than we can. They never moved the chain, so right now it's first and five. Either way, I mean, you'd rather have first and five than first and ten. Yeah, I mean, it's... So to this point, Hutch, their defense has been as good as advertised. I don't think it's an automatic first down. I think you, well, you it was mark first the penalty. And, it's 15 yards. It was first yeah. and 20. That, which is why it's first and five. Now, either way, it benefits Garden City. Yeah. So 112 left, but the Blue Dragon defense, which has been so good on this drive, they gave up a 15-yard run on third and 15. Then Cox hit Hayes on a screen for 23 on third and 13. Then on first and 20, after a holding call, wiped out a 20-yard completion. Hutch has called for a personal foul on Justin Gardner. Now first and five, Garden City. At the Hutch 15 yard line. Yvonne Dingle tight left, wide right is MJ Link. Now Dingle goes to the right. Half diamond for Cox, the H back left is Parker. The tailback is Jefferson. Jefferson's got it, up the middle, jump cut right 15, oh. runs into the umpire. And he backs his way to the 13 yard line and Hutch can go ahead and take that guy out for dinner. That's a gain of 12 and a blockbuster first down instead of a touchdown. 
My goodness. Oh, Get Lord. the hell out of the way. Oh, what on earth? A 12th man in stripes for Hutch. I mean, what else is new? Literally, nobody oh. for Hutch made the tackle. It was the umpire. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, you know, umpires have a hard time standing there, so, you know, he probably didn't have a place to go and first, can't really fault him. First and 10 Garden from the Hutch 14. Jefferson again luck. is the tailback and a half diamond. Dingle lined up tight to the right of the formation. Back for Jefferson, goes left, squeezes through a hole, 10. Bounces back right, Crab crawls inside the five along the numbers near the three. And that's Gardner and Rodney Matthews tracking him down. That's 11 more yards for Jefferson. Now they're gonna say the knee down at the five. So it's a gain of nine, it's second down and one. Well, he got brought down initially, but somehow was able to stay on his feet, get a couple more yards. Final 15 seconds of the first quarter. We're having a lot of success running towards the left of their formation on this specific drive, yeah. which has eaten up the final five minutes of this first quarter. And that, in fact, will be the final play. So it's second and one garden when we come back from the five yard line. It's six nothing Hutch on a block punt return for a touchdown at 99-9 The Rock. Alongside John Ford, Sidi DuSavo, Mike Pilosov getting ready to start the second quarter here from Brockbuster Stadium. 6 0 Hutch at second and one guard now going into the wind, moving left to right. Left hash at the Hutch five yard line. This, the ninth play of this drive, which started back at the 40. Cox under center, Merriweather is the fullback. The eye back is Jefferson with two tight ends. Snap. And for Jefferson, goes left, back to the right, at the one, falling forward, can he get in? Second effort, and he's down inside the one. Did not get into the end zone. I think they blew him dead before that final surge. I'm not sure why they blew that dead, but Rodney Matthews saves the touchdown at least for the moment. Gain of four, and now it's first and goal. And I got news for everybody in the building. This is four down territory all over the place. Especially with a kicker that's dealing with two misses. Please reset the game clock to 148. 1-4-1-8-4-8. Thank you. Notice First that, but don't notice the touchdown. Tenth play of this drive. First and goal from the one. Link right. Cox under center with an offset eye right. Unbalanced line to the right. Cox takes the snap, toss sweep left. Jefferson cuts it back right, hit at the three and loses yardage. Game tackled, Anthony Green, the outside linebacker, is the one that hit him first. That's a loss of two and it's second and goal. You figure you've had so much, so much success, guys, running between the tackles on this drive. Why would you try to bounce it back out when you only need a yard? I don't know, Mike. Peculiar play call. Second and goal from the do three. Not know. I'll tell you what, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna end up scoring here, and it's gonna be uh it's gonna be one of those type of games. Second and goal from the three. Now Cox in the pistol Second with Hayes goal. behind him. Lincoln Parker right. Parker in motion from right to left. Helmet high snap, give it to Hayes. Up the middle, hit at the five, crab crawls to the four, loses another yard. Dennis Jackson with penetration. 
And he went low to make the tackle. That's a loss of about a yard and a half, and it's third and goal, and the block is going the wrong way. See, you know, if I'm Hutchison and I'm their coaching staff, I have the mindset, hey, I'm getting away with murder right now. These guys cannot score against me. And I don't understand, again, go back to the first down play because that sets you up now. Third and goal from the four. And again, you think this is four down territory. Parker and Link go left. Dingle and Johnson right. Parker in motion left to right with Cox in the gun. Hot shows blitz. Cox back to pass. Pumps left. Fires to the opposite side for Link and he's tackled at the 10. Loses five more. Justin Gardner who was flagged for an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty earlier on the drive makes the tackle. And now it's fourth down. It started at the one. I'll tell you what, Ryan Rhodes is flat out kicking our butt right now with his defense. He is flat out kicking our butt. And here comes Dos Santos Eris who's kicking into a pretty stiff breeze. This from the left hash, a 27 yard field goal. To get Garden on the board, snap back and... He missed that. Free snap penalty. Back it up again. False start, offense, number 66. Five yard penalty, remain fourth down. On the one yard line, and we don't go inside the tackles. You lost 14 yards, you can't yeah. make it up. Wow. Look, Hutch deserves everything right now because Garden City yeah. is beating themselves. Yeah. So now it's a 32 yard field goal. Right now, Hutchison looks like the number four team in the nation. Santos Harris has missed from 47 and from 38. This from 32. Snap, placement, kick on the way to the uprights. And it is good. The right Busters down the middle. Salvage the drive with 13 minutes to go in the first quarter. Down 6 to 3 on 99 9 The Rock. Hutch has a 6-3 lead, guys, and they've only run six offensive plays. Garden City about to kick it away. Into the win. Another short kick. Fair catch signaled for by Hutch and made along the right sideline at the 30-yard line by Marquise Colvin. And that's where Hutch starts. Go back to the Lewis Motors drive summary for Garden City. 13 plays, 45 yards, and 6.54. They had the ball on the one and come away with only three points. That's a win for Hutch's defense. That's, that's, that's a win for the mindset of Hutchison. Hutch has yet to pick up a first down. You would think that would change here in the second quarter. Right of the shotgun with the win behind him, three receivers slot right. Zone option read, hand to Collins, trying to go right stretch to the sideline, and Avery Thornton Mary ushers Collins him out near the 34. Right sideline, gain of about three, second down and seven. One good thing is our defense should be well rested. I mean, the defense has played well. Yeah, but I, I'll tell you what, certain breaks that have happened, plus uh, the fact we can't get it in from the one yard line, boy, uh, that's not, that's rather ominous. Second and seven, Hutch for their own 34, right in the shotgun, drops to throw. Looks left, wants the bomb left into a double coverage, and it's picked off by McCullough. Near side numbers 30, back to the right 40, has a convoy 50, right sideline 40, darts back left, and he's still on his feet. To the 30, going left, shedding one tackle after another, and to the Hutch 21. 
terrible throw by Mark Wright into a cover two, and the Brock Lester's burn him. That was a heck of a defensive play by McCullough. McCullough, it looked like he was actually throwing to McCullough. Where on earth was Mark Wright throwing that football? I, I think he was hoping that his receiver would run right underneath it. That's a 49-yard return by McCullough, ducking and weaving the whole way. First and 10, Garden City at the Hutch 22. For DJ McCullough, his first pick of the year. Garden City with their 19th takeaway. They are now plus 11. And they're just outside the red zone, down six to three, early in the second. Straight up eye for Cox. Turns, hands for Hayes. Goes right, cuts back left, finds a little bit of running room. And he's inside the 20, running along the right hash to the 17. Tackle by Dennis Jackson, one of the defensive ends who has offers from UMass, Morehouse, South Alabama, and Southeast Missouri. Gain of five, second down and five. Mike, whenever you can start a drive out with a five yard gain, that's a good drive starter right there. So that was a good play call. And I stand corrected. Garden City has forced two turnovers in this game. They are now plus 12. They have 20 takeaways on the year. Second and five Garden at the Hutch 17. Wide left link, straight up by with Cox with two tight ends. Hutch crowds the line. Hand for Hayes, stutter step, goes right 15, 10, five, touchdown! Jaden Hayes to the end zone. 17 yards as the hole opened off of right tackle. And Hayes is in his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the blockbusters take advantage of a horrendous mistake by Mark Wright and score just two plays later. You know, on the flip side of that, Mike, uh, their defense could be out there to a limit to where, hey, it's gonna, sooner or later, we're gonna catch on on how to beat him. Hutch was number one of the country for five weeks before losing to Highland in a game where they were without 10 key players because of suspension. Dos Santos errors for the extra point, and that is good. The Brockbusters take the lead, and Hutch has done absolutely nothing offensively. 10-6 Garden, 11 and a half to go, second quarter at 99-9 The Rock. Alongside C.D. DuSavo, John Ford, Mike Pilosov from Blockbuster Stadium, 10-6 Garden City, short kick again. And Hutch fumbles it again. One of the up men fields at the 30. And an open field tackle by Cameron Johnson. That was Kyan Evans that fumbled the ball, and Hutch has it now at their own 31, down 10-6. Your Lewis Motors drive summary on that last drive. Two plays, 22 yards in 47 seconds, guys set up by the turnover. Evans leads the country in kick return average, which Hutch did something pretty smart there. They actually lined him up as one of the up men, knowing that Garden City was not going to kick it deep. First and 10, Hutch moving right to left, left hash. Now trailing 10-6 with 11.26 to go first half. They have yet to pick up a first down. Right in the gun, hands it off. This is Trey Coleman off of right guard, and Coleman out near the 35-yard line after a pickup of about four. Ali Gay on that tackle for Garden City. And it's second down, and check that that was not Coleman, that was Evans. Evans lined up in the backfield, gain of four, second down and six. Mike, when Hutch runs, 
it's like a mass of humanity at that uh, line of scrimmage. The offensive line is huge. Second and six, Hutch at their own 35. Evans to the right of right in the shotgun. Brown slot right. Mitchell Tinsley goes wide right. Right change in the play. Plenty of time on the play clock. Right gives it back to Evans, going to his right, breaking tackles, and has the first first down of the game for Hutch. As Avery Thornton trips him up, a knee-high stop at the 43, just outside the right hash for Hutch, and a gain of eight. Hutch trying to use some tempo now, down 10-6. That's their first first down of the game. Right in the shotgun on first and 10, Hutch, right hash at their own 43. Tinsley wide left, Brown slot left, right changing the play again. Garden City in the nickel here, they've got seven near the line, the snap is on the ground, picked up by Wright and spun down at the 45. Rashawn Merriweather and Eli Hill, they actually say the 44, that was almost another disaster for Hutch, gain of the yard at second down and nine. Rashawn Merriweather and Eli O'Shea Hill the stop, gain of two on the play, will bring up second down and eight. Hutch goes right back to the line of scrimmage, no huddle. Second down, now they give him the 45. Second and eight, right hash. Moving right to left, Hutch at their own 45, down 10-6 with less than 10 to go in the half. Three receivers, left, one right, pistol eye for right. Zone option, read right, keeps and is buried, running right. Ryan McLean along the right hash mark with a waist-high tackle at the 42, loses three, it's third and 11. Mike, that was a situation where all four defensive linemen were in the backfield at one time. How does that happen? Your offensive linemen all whiffed. I mean, that offensive line is like 6'3", 325 pound average. Third and 11, Hutch, right hash at their own 42. Two by two with right in the gun. Waist high snap, delayed blitz, right under pressure. Dances left and he's got room. 45-50 and slides short of the first down. It's where you start your slide up the left side numbers and he started at the 50. He could have ran for five more yards and that's a gain of eight and now it's fourth and three. Wow. McLean got held, they didn't call it. And Hutch is gonna punt. Guys, he could have ran for five more yards. That is that is a strange play right there. Now keep this in mind. Ryan Rhodes has done this in the past from this particular position on the field. Watch for the fake on fourth and three. They have three punt protectors. And it does go back to Arrington. Rugby style kick, wobbly spiral. Johnson lets it go past him into the end zone. For a touchback. 50 yard punt, nothing on the return. I'm still perplexed that he didn't run for the first down. That's just weird. I so mean, you'd think he'd know where the first down marker is. He's the quarterback. He should be one of the brightest guys out there, right? Mark Wright, who didn't play much of his senior year because of injury, last year was at Ellsworth. He transferred here during the offseason. Garden City saw him last year and pretty much dominated him. And so far, Hutch with just one first down. Rockbusters have outgained the Blue Dragons 105 to 34. It's 10 6 Garden. First and 10, Rockbusters moving left to right at their own 20 yard line. Cox and a half diamond. Ramon Jefferson is behind him. The H back right is Bryce Parker. And off for Jefferson. Up the middle, falls forward to the 22. And that was Lewis Wallace who has a sack. He's the one that pushed him back inside. And then Kamari Gaines, a three-star prospect from Lincoln High School in Tallahassee, Florida, finished him off. Gain of two, second down and eight. This is where you'd like to see Garden City really exercise some ball control right now. That's something the Blockbusters have done better than any team yeah, in the country, boy. and that's ball control, time of possession. Second and eight Garden from their own 22. Two receivers tight left. Dingle motions as a second tight end to the right. Hutch again in the neutral zone. Were they drawn off, or nope. is this five free yards for Garden? It's on us. False start, offense, number 18. Five yard penalty, remains second down. Now it's second down and 13. Rockbusters, four penalties for 25. 
7.48 remaining second quarter. Garden City has not beaten Hutch at home since Ryan Rhodes' first season as coach back in 2007. The year before that, Rhodes was at Fort Scott. So he left Fort Scott. Jeff Sims then took over Fort Scott. Rhodes went to Hutch, and he's been there ever since. Second down and 13, Garden from their own 17. Receivers to either side. Cox in the gun. Dingle motions as a tight end right. And off for Jefferson, up the middle, breaks a tackle, runs over LeVar Gardner and carries two Blue Dragons up the right hash to the 26-yard line. That's Justin Gardner that jumps on his back, gains nine, and now it sets up a manageable third down at about four and a half. We got motion flags here. We got a motion on us. Our tight end took off a little bit early, I think. Illegal formation, offense. Five players in the backfield. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. It remains second down. Now it's second and 18. I, didn't, I never saw the flag. And the official, you hear him talking right now to Tom Minnick. That's the same guy that was uh, talking to the Hutch lineman before the game about uh, how they line up. I saw him do that, and I'm wondering, why is that official doing that? He should not be talking or coaching the lineman. Second and 18 now. Garden from the road, 12 with Cox and the shotgun. Do you dare throw a pass with a four-point lead here? Cox hands it off for Jaden Hayes. Goes right, stutter step back left across the 15, right hash to the 17. Latrell Bankston wraps him up from behind, waist high. Gain of five, it's third and 13. You know, it's amazing when you think about the snow game, the first game of the year, and now you have an injured Blue Dragon on the field, and that's LeVar Gardner, the outstanding linebacker. Think about the snow game, the first game of the year. They forced three turnovers in the first quarter, and it should have been 30 to nothing. Yeah. Yet they let snow hang around. Snow has that big third quarter. They lose the game. Then you go against Independence, and as badly as you played against Independence, you still probably should have won the game. Well, since that point, the Blockbusters have won five straight, and they've done it, guys with a combination of a more consistent defense, specifically the last two weeks, and the offense, which has really found its rhythm. Today, the running holes have not necessarily been there, and they haven't been able to throw the football. And there's been a little bit of bad luck sprinkled in there, too. I and mean, they're killing like, themselves. I man. mean, uh, you know, granted, we've missed a couple field goals that we probably should have made. Normally, we do make. And then uh, you look at... Uh, I mean, the umpire taking out a runner when he had a clear shot to the end zone, and, and Hayes tripping and falling when he had a wide open field in front of him. I mean, I, hey, all you can say is it's football, it's just rotten luck. I mean, you know, we got to battle through it. Championship teams do that. Third and 13 now, Garden from their own 17. You figure they're going to play this as conservative as possible. Nursing a four-point lead. You don't want disaster striking deep in your own end. Cox in the gun with Hayes on his left hip. Changing the play. Two receivers left and right. Hutch has three down linemen. Cox drops to throw. Looks right. Spirals one right. Caught by Parker. Cuts back left. 25-30 and he's got a first down. Right up the seam on third and long. And again, the blockbusters convert. Art Green, the safety who's already committed to Tennessee, in on the tackle after a catch and run of 17. Boy, a real nice run. I think Hutch kind of thought he might go to the outside, and he uh, gave him a dead leg to the outside and went to the inside. Just a beautiful job. Guys, we all know why I'm sitting up here, because I can't call plays. I said run the ball, and then that happens. First and 10, Garden City up 10-6, six to go first half. On their own 34. Straight up eye for Cox now. Takes the snap, toss sweep left to Jaden Hayes. Blocker on the edge is Malik Bryant. And he stretches it out near the numbers along the 35 yard line. Spraggins the linebacker running step for step for the waist high tackle after a gain of a yard. And it's second down and nine. I think when that run is most effective is when we're pulling guards and tackles and, and, and putting them on the move. I think we're a lot more effective with the run on the left side or the outside pitch. Well, let me ask you this, because Malik Bryan was the lead blocker there. If you're Hutch, are you more favorable with a tight end instead of a guard blocking you? And Bryant's a big dude. Yeah. Second down to nine, Garden from their own 35. Pistol eye for Cox. Parker is the H back to the right. 
Helmet high snap, give it for Hayes on a counter left, hit at the line and maybe got back to the line of scrimmage, nothing further. Richard Merritt totally whiffed the transfer from Arizona Western, one time Maryland product. That was Kamari Gaines that blew that play up. Back at the 33, loses about two, so now it's third and 11. Garden City has lived and died on third and long. And so far in this game, the Blockbusters are four of eight on third down. They have a third and 15 conversion. And on this drive, they have a third down and 13 conversion. At one point, it was second and 18. Third and 11, Garden left hash at their own 33 up 10-6. Dingle left with trips right. Play clock at two. Down to one, snap to Cox. Delayed blitz. Cox sets up a tunnel screen right. Johnson's got it. Tackled immediately inside the numbers by Justin Gardner at the 26. And that loses seven more. It's fourth and 18, and Garden City set to punt. No one blocking. Yeah, there is nobody blocking. Tackled in by Justin Gardner. It'll be a fourth down for the Busters. Now you're punting into the win. Hutch is going to have tremendous field position. Last punt didn't go too well. Is blocked and returned for a touchdown. That's the only points on the board for Hutch. Their offense just one first down thus far and 34 total yards. An offense that's averaging 438 a game. Hatchie gets this one away and it's a duck. Near side takes a Hutch hop and down by Garden City at the blockbuster 40 yard line. That punt only 14 yards into a stiff breeze. For the Blue Dragons. So three and a half to go, second quarter, 10-6 Garden. Hutch has it first and 10, moving from right to left at the Garden City 40. Their only loss this year was to Highland. They missed an 18-yard field goal that was blocked in the final seconds. Here today, they scored first. Garden has rattled off the last 10. Is this the best field position they've had? Yes, it is. First time across the 50. Mark Wright. And the shotgun offset to his right is Collins. And here is Collins, sweeping left, 35. Gets a block on the edge, 30. Turns the corner, 20. And shoved out of bounds. Ali Gay is the one that helps push him out. They said he stepped out at the 25. That gains 15, the second first down of the game for Hutch. Now you're in danger of going into the locker room down after really your defense has dominated this first half. First down, Hutch at the Garden City 25 with Wright in the gun. Zone option read, Wright keeps. Garden City not fooled. Ryan McLean blows it up, and Wright gets back to the line of scrimmage, left hash, and no further. Now they're going to say a half a yard gain, second down and a long nine. That zone option read, guys, has not been there. Wright came into this game averaging over five yards per carry, was named the NJCAA Player of the Week back on September 28th after his performance in that win over Butler 35-27. 2.40 left in the half, second and nine Hutch at the Garden 24, 10-6 Brockbusters. Tinsley wide left, slot left Brown, right in the shotgun with Collins on his left hip. Wright drops the throw under pressure again. Dumps it off and bobbled and dropped left numbers at the 22-yard line by Collins. Jordan Riley, who's hurt, was the one that put the pressure on right, and you can ill afford to lose Jordan Riley. Third down. And he went down with a knee. Yeah, that don't look good. Training staff is out. If you're Garden City right now, your game plan is to somehow force Mark Wright to drop and throw every play. Yeah. They've contained him in the run game, but now more importantly, they attend to Jordan Riley, who has rolled over on his back, and it looks like they're looking at the lower body. Left knee. Yep. Riley, the transfer from North Carolina. By the way, if Collins makes that catch, that might have been trouble. Yeah. Get you caught up on what's happened so far. It's going to be third and nine Hutch when we resume play at the Garden City 24. 224 left in the half. 10-6 Garden. Each team threw a couple of haymakers early, but it was Hutch blocking a punt and then returning it for a touchdown. So that was their first point. And then Ali Gay blocked the extra point. So six-nothing Hutch there. Blockbusters have had so many opportunities to blow this game open 
but penalties, they've given up a sack. They had first and goal on the one and kicked a field goal. I mean, that You know, there are two you ways you can look at it. You can look at it as, uh, you know, we've kind of blown it, but at the same time, you can also look at it that, you know what, great teams, you know, you have to earn what you get from great teams, and Hutch is a great team. So, you know what, hey, it just falls along the lines of a, this is a great game. We, you know, what could have been, wasn't, and, uh, you know, you just got to move on. Short-term memory. And Jordan Riley is being helped off. That is not good for that front seven. And not being able to put any pressure on that left knee. See, now third and nine Hutch. And the one replacing Riley is Motu Amutai on that defensive front. Third and nine Hutch down 10-6. At the Garden City 24, Hutch 0 for 3 on third down. Three receivers right. Mitchell Tinsley, the outstanding wideout left. Collins to the left of right in the shotgun. Right staring down a cover zero look. Back to throw right, sets up a screen right. That's caught by Brown, up the field, up the hash mark, hit by White, bounces That's off of him. Right hash to the 15. There, there is, is a flag line. down on the backfield, back at the 33 yard line. Maybe 15 more. Yeah, it's probably half the distance. Merriweather finished him off. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Boat to the head, half the distance to the goal. First down. Well, they picked up nine on that catch and run. And now Hutch is in prime position to retake the lead with 2.06 to go. Garden yeah. City has one timeout. Remember, they used two timeouts in the first quarter. Their defense has played really well, but now you're without Jordan Riley. Now you got to ask yourself, what would be a win for Garden City in this situation? Well, at the very least, Hutch kicking a field goal. Right in the shotgun, Collins to his right. Tinsley goes right with Brom. Two tight ends on first and goal from the seven. This is Collins up the middle, surges to the two. Gains five on first down. Anthony Jordan up from his safety spot to help bring him down. Gain of five, second and goal. Hutch going with tempo on second and goal from the two. Right back to the line, right in the shotgun. Gives it back for Collins. Goes to his left and walks into the end zone. Touchdown Hutch as they regain the lead. 128 to play second quarter. Blockbusters living by that third and long, dying by the third and long. This time they die by it. And Hutch takes over with prime field position and they score on second and goal. Garden does get the football to begin the second half. Garcia for the extra point with a minute 28 to go. Snap back, placement good, and the kick with a flag out is good. Let's check the flag. That's going to go against Hutch. Hutch already has one missed, a block PAT. Is it a legal formation? It might be a hold. Wait for this call with 128 to go. Right now, 12-10 Hutch. Number four versus number five. Garden is walking off to the sideline, so this might be against Garden City. It looked like Avery Thornton beat the edge, and the guy on the edge looked like held him. But I could be wrong. The question is, if this is on Garden, would Hutch move the ball up and go for two? Here's Bruce Pinkle on the call. The results of the play, the extra point is good. During that down, we had personal foul, illegal hands to the face, offense number 88. That penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. So the score stands, 128 to go, first half. And it's Hutch 13, Garden City 10 on 99.9 The Rock.
Garden City should have pretty good field position as Hutch regains the lead 13-10. That penalty was assessed on the kickoff. So basically Hutch kicking from the 20 now. 128 to go first half. Garden only with one timeout. Let's see how they work it here. Line drive kick, a booming kick that goes out of the end zone, so it doesn't matter. Garden starts at the 25. First and 10, Garden City moving from left to right. That's a pretty impressive kick right there. Well, he's got the wind behind him. I mean. yeah. So if you're just tuning in, Garden City fell down 6 0 at a block punt. They rattled off 10 in a row, a field goal after Dos Santos Harris missed two field goals. He finally hit one. And then Mark Wright threw an interception. DJ McCullough returned at 49 yards. Two plays after that, it was Jaden Hayes' 17 yard rushing touchdown that gave Garden City the lead. But Hutch took advantage of a short field at Lewis Motors Drive Summary. Six plays, 40 yards, and 204. And they had the lead back on Aaron Collins' one yard rushing touchdown. First down, Garden from their own 25. Half diamond for Cox. Hayes behind him. Snap, give it to Hayes. Off right guard, back to the left. Picks up maybe two. And filling that hole, Art Green up from his safety spot. Give him the 27, so a gain of two. Second down and eight. You almost think Garden City would be content going to the half. They get the football to begin the second half. Second down, they gave him three to the 28. Only one timeout left for Garden. Wide left Johnson, slot left Dingle. Pistol eye now for Cox. Dingle motions tight to the formation left. Cox takes the snap and a false start. And you couldn't have asked for a worse start to the game and a worse finish to the half. Prior to the snap, false start, offense, number 18. Five yard penalty, remains second down. Kevon Dingle has had two false starts, guys, called against him. And we move all back to the 23 yard line, second down as well. And if you're Hutch, why wouldn't you think about with the wind and everything else, start calling timeouts? Garden City's only good offensive drive was after that interception, yep. which was set up by the return by McCullough. And Garden City looks like they're going into to take a knee. Maybe not. During that play, the penalty will enforce a 10 second runoff. 35 seconds on the game clock, please. 35. So Hutch does not use a timeout to stop that 10 second runoff. So I guess they're content. Thank you. They're content taking a three point lead into the locker room. Because there's no way Garden City is throwing this football. Second and 12, Garden from their own 23. Dominique Watt is in the game for the first time today. Give it to Hayes. Running right and hit behind the line by Kamari Gaines back at the 18. Along the right hash, loses five. And it's third down and 17, and that should bring us to the half. You think about all the missed opportunities in the first half, Garden City should probably have a 20 point lead. Well, they probably ought to be up at least. But, but John, keep, it, keep this in mind when I say that. Hutch's offense did nothing. I know. Nothing. I know. It should. We should at least have a 14. But should have, would have, could have. But we didn't. And I don't know if the referees are talking with Mike Orthman right now. And Tom Minnick's over there as well. In a minute, we'll send it down to CD DeSavo to talk with head coach Tom Minnick. But... Look, we're not going to beat a dead horse because we're going to be redundant throughout the broadcast anyway, so you're going to continuously hear it. You, against a team like this, you cannot have false starts. You can't have possessions where you have the ball on the one-yard line and you're kicking field goals. Yeah. Stop outthinking yourself. Make it simple. Get it going. And let's roll from there as we send it down to CD DeSavo with head coach Tom Minnick. I uh, here with Coach Remitic now. Coach, you guys kind of find yourselves there on the offensive end and in the special teams. How do you guys correct that? Well, linemen got blocked. They're not blocking right now. I uh, worked on it all week with the run-throughs, and then they're not picking them up. So, uh, you know, it falls on us 
and all to get it corrected at halftime here. Seems like your defense is the bright spot in this first half so far. They've been playing well, yeah. So what do you guys uh, need to do to come out offensively and get things going in the second half? Need to block. Lyman need to block. That's what it comes down to. It's one up front all the time. And every football game is one up front. They're not freaking blocking. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Tom Minnick, as you can hear it, very upset, and you can't blame him. The offensive line, for the most part in that first half, did exactly what he just said. They didn't block, and they ran it 28 times for 84 yards. Before you get your calculator out, that's three yards a carry. Garden City came into this game averaging 5.8. So Hutch has won that battle there, and it's Hutch up 13 to 10 at the half over Garden City. Take a break, come back, and more tap time report is next on 99.9 The Rock. Welcome to the Brockbuster Halftime Report, brought to you by Morton Buildings, in business for more than 100 years. Here's Mike Pilisoff. Seven Mike from their own 34, right in the shotgun, drops to throw. Looks left, wants the bomb left into a double coverage, and it's picked off by McCullough. Near side numbers 30, back to the right 40, has a convoy 50, right sideline 40, darts back left, and is still on his feet. To the 30, going left, shedding one tackle after another, and to the Hutch 21. Terrible throw by Mark Wright into a cover two, and the blockbusters burn him. That was a huge turning point in that first half, the pick by T.J. McCullough, the 49-yard return that eventually set up a touchdown, but the Blockbusters go into the half 
down three, 13 to 10, alongside John Ford, C.D. DeSavo, Mike Pilosov. So 13 to 10, Hutch with a three-point lead. And let's take a look at your first half game recap. It's brought to you by Garden City Community College. The future starts now. Well, the game started inauspiciously for Hutch because on a pop fly short kick, Hutch fumbles the ball and the Brockbusters' Adrian Hopper recovers. Garden City had a golden chance early in this game. They moved it to the Hutch 16. But Jaden Hayes was dropped by Anthony Green for a five yard loss, an incomplete pass, and then a Lewis Wallace sack on third down derailed any thoughts of a touchdown. And then Andre Dos Santos Eras, who's been so good this year, missed wide left a 47 yard field goal. Hutch's offense, besides one drive, did, did absolutely nothing. Three and out their first drive. Teams exchange three and outs. But here's the problem. Garden City is their setting to punt with eight and a half to go in the first quarter. Punt was blocked, returned by Hutch for a touchdown. Extra point though was blocked by Ali Gay. Six nothing Hutch with eight and a half to go opening period. Rockwesters were trying to find their way after that on the offensive side of the ball. Most deflating, well, they missed another field goal from 38. Then they got the ball back took up the final five minutes of the first quarter, ate up two minutes of the second, had the ball at the one yard line. This is the drive where the umpire got in the way of a potential Ramon Jefferson touchdown. Rockbusters get to the one and here's the play call. Toss sweep left, they lose two. Jaden Hayes runs off left guard, loses one. Then on third and goal, a screen left to link blown up by Gardner for a loss of six. The only saving grace is the fact that Dos Santos Eris drills a 32-yard field goal, and it's 6-3 Hutch with 13 minutes left in the half. Garden City's best offense definitely was their defense, and the next time Hutch had the ball on second and seven from their own 34, Mark Wright, I don't know where he was throwing it, threw into double coverage up the left sideline, intercepted by McCullough, ran it back 49 yards to the Hutch 22. Two plays after that, Hayes off right tackle with 17 yard rushing touchdown. And that made it 10-6 Garden City. Hutch's offense from there finally picked up a first down, their first of the game with about 10 minutes to go in the half and then punted. But where the Brockbusters went sour was the fact that if they continued to live and die by that third and long. They converted a third and 13 with about four minutes to go in the half when Cox hit Parker for 17. But on third and 11 later in the drive, Cox's pass for Johnson lost seven yards, and the Brockbusters forced to punt. Only a 14-yard punt gave Hutch the ball at the Garden City 40. And from there, the Blue Dragons didn't mess around. The big play here, a 15-yard run by Collins, and then a nine-yard hookup on third and nine, which was coupled with a 15-yard unsportsmanlike conduct penalty for a late hit. Jordan Riley also injured on this series. Hutch eventually scores on second and goal from inside the two, and they take a 13-10 lead, and that is where we stand at the break. 13-10 Hutch leads Garden City. Take a break. Have your first half numbers when we come back on 99.9 The Rock.
Wide left link, straight up by with Cox. With two tight ends. Hutch crowds the line. Hand for Hayes. Stutter step. Goes right 15 10. Five touchdown. Jaden Hayes to the end zone. 17 yards as the hole opened off of right tackle. And Hayes is in his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Blockbusters take advantage of a horrendous mistake by Mark Wright and score just two plays later. That was the interception thrown where DJ McCullough returned it. 49 yards, that's the score that set that up. Well, that was set up by the pick. Back on the Morton's Halftime Report. Alongside John Ford, C.D. DeSavo, Mike Pilosoff, 13-10. Garden City down to Hutch at the break. First half numbers brought to you by Burtis Motors. Neither team really anything to write home about. Garden City, 10 first downs. Hutch only had three. They went the first quarter without one. Didn't pick up their first till about the 10 minute mark of the second. 119 total yards for Garden, 66 for Hutch. Passing yards, Brockbusters 35, Hutch had nine. Blue Dragons turned it over twice, a fumble and a pick. Meantime, penalties, Garden City seven for 43. Hutch had five for 55, then on third down, Garden four for 10. Hutch was one for four. Time of possession, it doesn't get any lops, more lopsided than this. 21-36 to 8-24. Brockbusters ran 38 plays to Hutch's 19 and Hutch has the lead. Those are the breaks that can't happen against a team as good as Hutch. Individually, Garden City led by Nate Cox, five of 10, 35 yards, three carries for 27. Hayes, 13 carries for 21. Jefferson, 11 for 35. Troy Von Johnson, one carry, one yard. Hayes had one catch for 23. It was a third down screen. Bryce Parker, one for 17. Kevon Dingle, one for eight. And MJ Link, one catch for minus six. The defense led by Ali Gay's three tackles. Ryan McLean had three. Gay also with a blocked extra point and a sack in that first half. For Hutch, Mark Wright, not good. One of five, nine yards. Sacked once, picked off once. Collins, seven carries, 34 to touchdown. Evans, two carries for 12. Kareem Brown had one catch for nine yards. That's the only completion of the first half. And Jermaine Spragans, seven tackles, two and a half for loss, leading the way for the Blue Dragons. Take a break. We come back. I'll ask John Ford what he wants to see from Garden City, who does get the ball to begin the second half, what he wants to see from them in the third quarter. 13-10 Hutch on 99-9 The Rock.
Back at Blockbuster Stadium alongside John Ford, C.D. DeSambo, Mike Pilosoff about to get the second half underway. Quick score update. Your out-of-town school board presented by Timeout Sports Bar in Council Bluffs right now at the half. It's Iowa Western 9 and Butler 6. Let's quickly check in with check, John check. Ford on what he wants to see from the Blockbusters in the second half. Well, Mike, uh, I think I'd like to see some in-game adjustments. I, I would like to see us take advantage Definitely, like, like Coach Minnick said, I'd like to see our offensive line block. That would be nice. Uh, another key is, uh, you know, the wind. You know, we are going to uh, have the wind in our face the fourth quarter. So uh, how are we going to take advantage of it during the third quarter? Got to do something in this third quarter. Sebastian Garcia to kick this one away. Short kick. Up in the air, spins, fair catch, signal for and made by Ellis Merriweather in traffic at his own 38-yard line. Uh, I'll tell you what, again, in heavy traffic, both teams deploying the same strategy as far as kick returns. And let's see where they spot the football. Should be around the 39. Now they're moving it near the 40-yard line. So that's where Garden City starts. At their own 40, moving right to left. South to north, wind behind them here in the third, down 13 to 10. Last win at, when trailing at the half, they did it week two in that come from behind win over Dodge City. First and 10, Garden City from their own 40. Half diamond for Cox, takes the snap and hands for Jefferson, runs left and nothing there. Spun down left numbers at the 39 after a loss of a yard. And that's the outside linebacker, Jarente Davis, coming up to bring him down. Loss of a yard, second and 11. Here, here's my question to you, John. First down play call, do you, do you try a play action fake, or does that even work? Because I, know, I don't know why you wouldn't try it. I mean, second and 11 garden, left hash. How's it worked for you so far? Nothing's really worked. Sievers to either side. Dominique Watts in there now. He's an H back to the right. Cox hands it off for Jefferson again. Up the middle behind a block from Richard so Merritt. And a little here. juke to the right, and he's out near the 42. And again, it's Davis after a gain of three. It's third and nine. Well, you know what you're going to get here. You're going to get them with their ears pinned back coming after us. Well, you know, like I, I mentioned this last year between Diedrich Mills and Charles West. Garden City was having a tough time for the first two and a half quarters running the football. But Jeff Sims stayed the course. The difference in that game it was actually a touchdown pass that saved him in the third and then one that won it in the fourth. Third and eight, Garden from their own 42. Receivers to either side. Parker trots in motion left to right. Shotgun for Cox. Takes the snap, four-man stunt. Cox rolls to his right under some pressure with a flag out. Cox throws on the run, almost intercepted. Right up the left numbers by Anthony Green, who just Anthony dropped it. This is probably a hold against Garden City in Hutchville decline. It was hold. It was a hold bigger than daylight, man. <laughs> that thing was. You could tell. They're going to decline the penalty. Boy, Anthony Green should have had a pick. Yep. Or maybe they back him up. They might do that. I, I don't know why you'd back him up unless you're trying to think. Well, they're going to punt from. Where they get the wind behind their back. Holding offense, number 77. That penalty be declined. Result of the play, fourth down. Cox is lucky he wasn't picked off, so that's the saving grace. But you're down 13-10, and Hutch's offense is going to be right back on the field. Mitchell Tinsley back deep with Evans. Nathan Hatchie to punt. Mitchell Tinsley and Marquis Colvin back to receive for the Blue Dragons. Man, check that that's Colvin, not Evans. Hatchie to punt from inside his own 30. 90 seconds elapsed, second half, 13 10 Hutch. Snap back to Hatchie, rush on again, and Hatchie goes down, and no flag. No flag. Colvin, fair catch, signal for and made. Hatchie goes down, and there's absolutely no laundry on the field. That is amazing. 40 yard punt, his mind. nothing on the return, and you've got to be kidding me. That is absolutely atrocious. I mean, even if you don't call 15 for roughing, that's yeah, got to be I five. Mean, at least. That is just a 
horrible missed call. Referees are talking about it. Hutch's offense is already on the field. There was no foul on the play. The defender got blocked into the kicker. There's no foul on the play. There would be if our punter wasn't, or if our punter was 100 pounds. <laughs> yeah, but that's CD, you're using logic. That's 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 just a god awful call. Tom Bennett can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, First and 10, Hodge now at their own 20. So you had the umpire trip up Ramon Jefferson going to the end zone, and then you have that horrendous call. I mean, everything's going Hutch's way right now. First and 10, Hutch. This is Evans in the Wildcat. Takes the snap, tries to dart left, and stood up, maybe he gains a yard. Eli Hill was there amongst others with Ryan McLean to stand him up. Gain of a yard, second down and nine. Look, those calls, you can't, you can't do anything about it. They're not going to change the call. No. Garden City, you can blame the refs all you want. They self-destructed themselves. Yeah. Second down and nine, Hutch from their own 21-yard line. Mark Wright is back in with two receivers left and right. Jordan Riley remains out of the game with a knee injury. Wright changing the play, play clock at 10, yelling instructions to his offensive lineman. Shifts Collins from left hip to right. Garden City crowds the line. And off for Collins, off of left guard, had a little wiggle room outside the hash to the 26-yard line. Willie Hampton, the one-time Nebraska commit on the tackle after a gain of five, it's third and four. I've been impressed with Aaron Collins. He's run the ball hard, and I'll tell you what, anytime they've had success moving the ball, it's been because Collins has been running. Hutch one for four on third down. Third and four up three early in the third for the own 26. Two by two, right in the gun. Snap, looks right, under pressure, darts, and is taken down, left numbers at the 25 by Willie Hampton again. Loses a yard, that goes down as his sack, and now it's fourth down and five. Our defense has played really well tonight. Defense is keeping them in the game. Yeah, I mean. Well, one touchdown we allowed was on a short field. Absolutely. Nolan Arrington to punt again. 13-10 Hutch, 11 and a half to go third quarter. Rockbusters have to do something offensively with the wind behind them. Troy Vaughn Johnson back at his own 48. Rugby style kick from Arrington. Wobbly spiral, Johnson signals for a fair catch and makes it around his own 36, 39 yard punt. Zero on the return, 11-21 to go. Here in the third quarter, alongside John Ford, C.D. DuSalvo, Mike Pilosoff, we'll start him at the 37. Rockbusters down 13-10, a block punt, and a two-yard rushing touchdown by Aaron Collins. Those are the scores for Hutch. Rockbusters missed two field goals, one from 47 and 38. They took advantage of a D.J. McCullough 49-yard interception return, and they scored on a 17-yard rushing touchdown by Hayes, but they gave up a touchdown late in the second quarter. They're down three. First down for their own 37. Jefferson plunges up the middle, bounces left for nothing. Latrell Brankson stops him from behind with a waist-high tackle for no gain. Second down and 10. Mike, you know one of the nuances of the game, and I think everybody knows it, is the uh, special teams play. And I'll tell you what, Hutchinson's punter, to his credit, has done a good job of putting us in a long field situation. And he's done it, to your point, Kicking into the wind, those low line drive yeah. kicks. I mean, he's one of the heroes of the game so far. Second and 10, Garden from their own 37. Heavy package in, Dominique Watt right to the near side left, Johnson. Cox and a half diamond, Johnson in motion left to right. Snap, give it to Hayes, off right guard. Pushes the pile near the 38. Lewis Wallace, who had a first half here. sack, brings him down left hash after a gain of a yard, it's third and nine. Now, for people that are listening that are going to get frustrated for them running the ball, you're only down three. You don't abandon the game plan. However, you'd almost think at some point you got to be able to throw the ball down the middle of the field. Yeah. But now and I'll tell you another thing, Michael. You know what? It's pretty easy to predict that, hey, we're going to go run one, run second down, run third down, and then we're going to pass. I mean. Third and eight, Garden from their own 38. Two by two, Cox and the shotgun. Hutch with that cover zero look again. 
This time they rush three, drop eight. Screen left, caught by Parker. Turns up field 40, 45, 50 as a first down. Left sideline to the Hutch, 46, no flag. Scraggins on the tackle. Gained 17 on third and eight. Well designed play. That's the second time, John, they've run that play yep. on a third and long. Yep. I'm telling you, it's a great neutralizer against that pass rush of Hutchins. Well, part of what Garden City is trying to do, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, either one of you guys can, which I usually am, they don't want Hutch's offense on the field at all. Yeah. They would rather run for two yards, three yards. That's what Jeff Sims' philosophy was last year. They eventually wore them down. Look, I don't care how good you are. If you are on the field for 90 plays, it's going to wear you down. First down Garden from the Hutch, 46. Toss sweep right now to Hayes. He's looking to throw it. He's got throw nothing there and now just throws it away. Caden Hayes was being pursued by Isaiah Todd. So that halfback option pass, they've run that successfully in practice. Second down and 10. Good play by Hayes. And that's a smart play. Yeah, very smart play. Second and 10, Garden. Moving right to left, south to north, that southerly wind behind them. Left hash right on the foot of the blockbuster horse painted in brown the at the Hutch 46, trailing 13 to 10 with just over nine to go, third quarter. MJ Link goes wide right to the near side left, Dingle, slot left, Johnson, slot right, Parker. Shotgun for Cox. Hutch has eight near the line. Snap, give it to Hayes, darts right, cuts back left, and tracked out of the 45 yard line after a gain of a yard. And again, it's Jarente Davis. The Dudley Davis. High School Greensboro, North Carolina product who had eight offers in high school, played in the Shrine Bowl, in on that tackle gain of a yard. It's third and nine. Look, I'll tell you what, this second half field position is going to be huge. And I got to be honest with you, I, I think if Coach Minnick is is uh, thinking along that lines, I think this is a pretty good play right here. Well, and if you don't get it here, you 100% punt the football. Oh, because absolutely. The, they'd be going into the like win. Like I said, field position, regardless of fourth quarter, third quarter, is going to be huge. Third and nine garden at the Hutch 45, two by two. Quarterback draw, Cox can't get away from two defenders, dives forward for a yard. Matthews and Davis on the tackle. Davis near, excuse me, Cox nearly Locked broke that. Now it's fourth and eight, and here comes the punting unit. Mike, that looked like a middle screen being set up. Didn't go anywhere. No, <laughs> because boy, I'll tell you what, their defensive line, it was like a jailbreak. There is that field position you're no talking about. Play to bring a fourth down and eight. Colvin and Tinsley, and Tinsley and back deep. Of course, this play only works if you can pin them inside the 10. Mitchell, yeah, Mitchell Tinsley and you don't and get the, Marcus you don't Colvin. get the punt block. 7.51 remaining, third quarter. Hutch about to get the ball back. Three punt protectors, including big Darius Johnson in front of the punter, Hatchie. Snap back, gets it away. Beautiful spiraling kick. Bounces inside the five and goes into the end zone. So Hutch starts at the 20. 44-yard punt. Nothing on the return. 7.31 remaining, third quarter. Hutch moving left to right, has the football back. You know, uh, because of that punt, that tells me right there, the punter is more worried about getting the punt off than trying to go kick at a direction. Because Hutch is coming in quick. I mean, they are, they're on our punter like rat on cheese, man. Still no Jordan Riley, we would, would assume he's out for the game. First and 10 Hutch, nursing a three point lead from their own 20. 7.31 to go third quarter. Mark Wright, the Ellsworth transfer in the shotgun motions. Evans out, four wide stack to the left, right to throw, screen, caught by Evans to the left sideline 20, turns the corner 25, and he ran over Anthony Jordan. Let's see if they mark him out at the 30. That's a first down and a catch and run of 10 yards. That was a statement run there. Hutch moves the chains, going with tempo offense now. First and 10, Hutch at their own 30. Blue Dragons just 81 total yards, and we're midway through the third. Two receivers right, two go left. Right on the shotgun, Evans on his right hip. Snap, give it to Evans, sweeping wide left to the boundary and tripped up by Avery Thornton. Left sideline to the 34. Clock continues to run, gain of four. It's second down and six. I'll tell you right now, Evans, and uh, uh, Collins are the key. We've got to be able to stop them. If we cannot stop them, 
That's just going to run right down the field. Four Evans, four carries for 17 yards. Hartsville High School product, Hartsville, South Carolina. Second and six huts from their own 34. Two by two, right in the shotgun. Garden City showing a middle blitz. Tell you what, I'd hand it off again to Collins. Which is Collins to his right hip. Play clock at five. Snap. Give it to Collins. Bouncing to the outside left. Little juke move. And then Darius Johnson comes over to finish him off at the line of scrimmage for no gain along the left boundary. So now it's third and six. Hutch on third down today has been miserable. They are one for five. Garden City has run 47 plays to Hutch's 25, and Hutch has a three-point lead. 13-10 with less than six to go in the third. Third and six, Hutch left hash. Moving left to right, they just moved it to the 35, so it's third and five from there. I call a screen right here. Yeah, three receivers bunched right. To cross. Shotgun for right. Back to pass, looking right. Under pressure and sacked. Shamar Pearl got him around the shoulder pads and twists him down at the 31. It's a loss of four, third sack of the day. And Hutch goes after picking up one first down, they short circuit and set to punt. Once again, our defense comes up big. Our defense has done a fantastic job. Unbelievable job. Yes, they have been just Need to help them out a little bit. Yeah. Better put a little immediacy on the passing game, I think. Fifth punch of the day for Arrington. Ooh. Johnson back deep, they nearly got there. Johnson lets it bounce, and it takes the Garden City hop at the 42-yard line of Garden City. That's a 27-yard punt. And nothing on the return. 4.54 to Almost go got that one. in the third quarter. Garden City down 13-10, and they've got it back, moving right to left at their own 42, a Jaden Hayes rushing touchdown. A Dos Santos Eris field goal. The Rockbusters also have a pick. They forced two Hutch turnovers. You got to have a positive play on first down. You can't be running behind the sticks. That's been the problem all day. Garden City averaging just 2.6 yards per play on first down. First down for their own 42. Half diamond for Cox. Chest high snap. Turns left. And for Jefferson, tries to turn the corner and does. 45 carries defenders to the 48. Left sideline. And bumped out by Ronald Williams, the outstanding cornerback. 188 pound softball from Faraday, Louisiana. Was recruited by Alfred Davis. Alfred Davis, who's an assistant for Hutch, is a Faraday native and a former GA and Arkansas, he was the one that recruited him. Gain of six, second down and four. Mike, that time Hutch had a cover one. I mean, if we wanted to pass, that would have been a great time to do it. Second and four, Garden from their own 48 yard line. Link right, two tight ends, straight up by. Hayes the eye back, play action, Cox, max protection. Wants it all. Rainbow's right wide open is Link and he overshoots him. MJ Link on a double move, absolutely torched Ronald Williams. But the pass was overthrown, and now it's third and four. Those were the plays last week that were there. Yeah. And that was there, too. Just a, an inaccurate throw. And I don't know if Link got held up, but that double move totally fooled Ronald Williams. I think he got a little bit held up, but I, you know what? I tell you what, the pressure was coming on Cox pretty good, so he had to get rid of the ball. And that's with max protection. Yeah. Third and four garden from their own 48. Rockbusters five for 12 on third down. Cox in the shotgun, two by two. Hayes in motion from right to left, it's an empty set. Hutch comes on a delayed blitz. Cox fires right and a drop by Amir Holmes. At the 41 yard line, he had it and knocked away possibly at the last second that time by Jermaine Spragans and now it's fourth and four. That would have been a great catch if he caught it, but I'll tell you what, that was a pretty tough chance. I mean, he was trying to cut right through two defenders at the time, and one defender had him right in his eyesight, right in the crosshairs, and he got, not only did he not catch the ball, but he got hammered trying to catch it. Tinsley to punt. Excuse me, Tinsley back deep, Hatchie to punt. Snap is high, Hatchie's uh -oh. got to get it off and almost blocked again. Spiraling kick, 
Bounces inside the 10, goes into the end zone. And that's because of that rush, as John explained. Bounced at the two and then went into the end zone. He just doesn't have time to do any directional kicking at all. I mean, he's lucky to get it off. He was lucky to get it off there. The only reason he got it off was because Hutch backed off a little bit. Look, let's call it what it is. I mean, that's a 52-yard punt, 428 to go here in the third quarter. Garden City might have to score defensively. Yeah. I mean, their defense has done everything but score. And now Hutch takes over first and 10, moving left to right at their own 20. If I'm right, I give it to Collins right here. First and 10 Hutch from their own 20 yard line. Mark Wright in a pistol eye, Collins behind him. Gives it for Collins, dancing left and tracked down by Krishan Merriweather right at the line of scrimmage along the numbers for no gain, second and 10. Great thing is if I know that, you know that our defense knows that. Well so, look, Hutch no, isn't throwing the ball either, that's no, the thing. No. And Garden City is keyed in on that. Second and 10, Hutch from their own 20. Blue Dragons, 21 carries for 63 yards. They've totaled just 82 for the game. They came in averaging 438. They put up 511 against RPA last week. Second and 10 from their own 20. Right in the shotgun. Play action, rolls right, looks to the sideline, and I don't know who he was throwing that one to either with a flag down. Mitchell Tinsley was the intended target. The flag is on the near side of the field. Maybe an illegal formation. Illegal formation, offense. Five players in the, in the backfield. That penalty be declined. Result of the play, third down. Mike, you know something right here? I mean, I think we're starting to see a blueprint of how Garden can win this game, and that has got to be field position. We've but got to <laughs> Holy cat house mess, man. I think I just had my eardrums <laughs> blown out. It's the second time the referee left his mic on. Third and 10 Hutch from their own 20, so they decline that penalty. Three receivers come right, one left. Hutch on third down today, one of six. Mark Wright throwing is two of seven. He's in the shotgun here. Garden rushes three, drops eight, screen right, caught, middle of the field 20, 25 to the 26 with a flag out. That's Kobe Phillips. The Phillips. Complete, now the question play. is, do you let them run another play and back them up to 15 yards? You talked about field position. He's four yards shy of the first down. They're gonna decline it. On Merriweather, I mean, you've gotta, you can't take a chance. Let's say they bust one on third and long, but you also have to think he's punting into the wind. CD, tell us how significant right now that wind is. Pretty significant. I'm, I think it's one of those where it's blowing harder the higher you are. So the higher the ball goes, the more the wind is there. Here's the call from Bruce Pinkle. Hopefully he turns his mic off this There's time. no foul on the play. The offensive pass interference did not occur. The ball was caught behind the line of scrimmage. Sean Merriweather made that tackle, so now it's fourth and four, and Hutch to punt again. So maybe you need a little Willie Irvin time right here. What do you think? The game will be to the 27 yard line. He's It'll been the man to do it. Three. Arrington to punt from his oh, own 12. Three punt protectors in front of him. Snap back, Arrington Ooh. with another flag out. Oh, Line now we're going to throw the flag. Johnson makes a running fair catch at the 48-yard line of Garden City. 26-yard punt. This might be a penalty on Hutch, and you take it again. I think you got offset it. Well, yeah, there's flags. So we're going to rough their kicker, I guess. If, if, they, if they call this... Because he's not also our center. If they call this, this is horrendous. Well, I, Mike, I got to be honest with you. I, in defense of the officials, that was roughing the kicker. I mean, that was, but I think they also had a penalty on them, uh, a, a pre-snap penalty. There are fouls on both teams. That's we have I'm illegal talking. formation, offense. We have running into the kicker, defense. Those penalties will offset. Replay fourth down. You know, it's amazing though. Yes, that was roughing or running into, uh -huh. but so is the other one. I, I know, Mike, hey, hey, I know, Mike, but you know what? Hey, 
I mean, we got to call it a, you know, no, no, you're, objectively. You're 100% I mean, yeah, right. I mean, but that's the frustrating part, whether you're listening to my voice, you're watching on on the video stream, wherever, that's what drives you insane. It Referee, does. You were an official for a long time. Yep. It's not a perfect science. No, and, and, and you know what? Every official sometimes makes a call that they probably ought not to or doesn't make a call that they should have made. So with 318 left, third quarter, 13 10 Hutch. Are they going to bring the heat again? And yet, are you a little gun shy here? Is Hutch set to punt again? Arrington punts it away. End over and kick. Johnson gets away from it. Takes a Garden City bounce again. And it's down near their own 42. So a 32 yard punt. Nothing on the return. 3.09 to go here in the third quarter. 13 10 Hutch. A low scoring defensive struggle between these two heavyweights. Garden City, the defending conference champs. Lost in the national championship game last year. Hutch meets on was the preseason favorite to win the league. But they were picked as far as the preseason polls behind Garden City. Hutch was number one for five straight weeks before losing to Highland. Garden City was as high as number three. They're sitting at number five now with a conference title still in their set, still in their mindset. But they got to get through arguably the toughest part of the schedule. First down for their own 42 here. Play action Cox. Sets, fires, near side left, and Johnson's got it. A dart and a waist high catch off the left hash to the Hutch. 43, they were playing zone coverage that time, and Jarente Davis makes the tackle coming in from behind after a 15-yard strike. Mike, I like the fact that they ran up the corner with the uh, wide receiver and then dropped the slot right in the middle. And that was a beautiful pass by Cox. I think all the attention was on our man going long, and that opened Trayvon. Second catch for Johnson, seventh completion for Cox. First and 10 Garden, left hash at the Hutch 43. Johnson two catches right, Kevon Dingle with a catch left. Now they shift with two tight ends right. Dingle moves in motion from left to right. Cox takes the snap play action again. Looks right under pressure, hit as he throws, Rainbow's left and it's intercepted. Hutch has it picked off by Art Green. And that was designed because of the pressure from Lewis Wallace. And Nate Cox just his fourth interception of the season. That one floated to the left, and Hutch has it back. That's a tough pass. I... Hutch takes it over at their own 29. The biggest or the best thing that happened for Garden City on that is he didn't get much of a return on that interception. So we still maintain some sort of field advantage here. Von Dingle is the one that tackled him. So Hutch has turned it over twice, Garden City once, and the Hutch offense, which has done nothing to this point, has it first and 10, left hash, moving left to right at their own 29. So Art Green with the pick, the Tennessee commit, four-star corner. Mark Wright in the pistol eye. Hands it for Evans, kind of bobbled that on the exchange and runs forward to the 32 before Big 97, Motu Amutai, 6'2", 290 pound freshman, plants him right between the hash marks after a gain of three. It's second down and seven. I'll tell you what, they're gonna hand it to Collins again. Two minutes For some to go. reason, we cannot stop that play. Second and seven, Hutch from their own 32. Collins now to the left of right in the gun, two receivers right, one left. And they're gonna let this clock run down as much as they can, right changing the play. Pistol eye. Snap. Hands it for Collins. Off left guard. Finds a little maneuver room. Out near the 36 left hash. Ryan McLean drags him down. Gain of four. Now it's third and three. And this is where Garden City has basically won the day. And that's on third down defensively. Hutch today on third down is one of seven. Mike, they gotta get off the field here. Opponents. Converting just 30% against this defense. This Third is a huge and three. Down. This huge is down. massive. Hutch from their own 36. Right in the gun. Three wide slot left. Brown slot left. Wide left, Tinsley. Brom to the near side right. Garden City with seven near the line. Snap. Handed for Collins going right and shut down. Eli Hill and Krishan Merriweather for no gain inside the right hash, and it's fourth and three. Guard City should call it. Well, no, they won't. You can't call a timeout in this situation. I understand no. the win. No, they're, they're, timeout. they're not going to do it anyway because, uh, first of all, the players hurt, and second of all, uh, uh, the play clock. 
it's Garden Stevie Smith, Young. Offensive lineman, right tackle, freshman from Fort Smith, Arkansas. All USA Arkansas selection is down on the field. Garden City finds a way. Go ahead, CD. Holding his left arm and writhing in pain. Yeah, he's favoring that left arm, as you mentioned. They're looking at the elbow. If Garden City finds a way, and that's a big if right now, to win this game, the entire offense should take the defense out to not McDonald's. I'm talking five-star restaurant. The bill should be seven thousand yes. dollars. That's how well the defense has played today. The defense has been unbelievable. Hutch on third down after that last play is one of eight. So the good news for Hutch, Stevie Young is up, and he's walking off under his own power. But good news for Gardner is they're going to have to punt against the wind. You have forty-five seconds to do something here in the third. So that last drive ended when Nate Cox was picked off. You know, as much as, uh, or as close as we've come to a block before, boy, would it be nice to get a block here. Oh my goodness. Can't rough or even run into, because you run into him, first down. Johnson dropped back at his own 36, along with Jair Jones. Arrington to punt. The high school quarterback. No rush this time, end over end kick. Johnson gets away from it, this time it takes a hutch bounce. For the first time, Hutch wins the field position battle, rolls to the 26, 38-yard punt, and zero on that return. That was a special team's win for Hutch that time. 28 seconds to go third quarter, so Garden City is going to have the wind in their face in the fourth. And guys, guys go ahead. Jordan Riley is on crutches over here on the field, so his day is done. Boy, that is a major blow. Garden City's going to have to win this game going into the win. That's just no way around that. First and 10, Garden City from their own 26. Pistol eye for Cox. Can Ramon Jefferson get it going? Hutch's defense has been out there for a long time today. Snap and a play action to Jefferson. Cox fires into double coverage incomplete. Left side numbers at the 40. It's actually a third defender over the top intended at the Hutch 40 for Link. So you had Ronald Williams, Justin Gardner, and Art Green. And that is as good a secondary as you're going to find. Second down and 10. I think they've made their one mistake, and we weren't able to hit on it. That goes back even to the first half. Second and 10. Garden City from their own 26 with 22 <laughs> seconds to play here in the third. 13-10 Hutch. Two receivers left and right. Cox in the shotgun. Snap play action. Looks over the middle, incomplete. Bryce Parker wants a flag and nothing doing. And now third down and 10. Parker claiming he was held. Third and 10. Tom Minnick is as hot as I've ever seen him. Well, Parker's getting turned around because he's held. Yeah. In the middle of the field. These guys, these guys aren't calling. And guys, anything. the umpire is standing right there. I'll tell you what, he's a hell of a tackler, though. Absolutely. Third and ten, Garden from their own 26. One of eight is Hutch. Garden City meantime on third down. Five of 13. Two by two. Cox drops the throw. Slides to his right. Throws on the run and it's bobbled and caught. MJ Link comes down with it. Right sideline in front of Williams at the 38. Boy, did they need that in the game of 12. After a missed call on a hold, Rockbusters convert, gain of 12 on third down and 10. And that might be the final play of the third quarter. And as we mentioned, this game will come down to the Rockbuster defense and somehow scoring going into the win. Three quarters complete. Here from Brockbuster Stadium. Garden City down 13-10. They have first and 10. Moving left to right into the win when we come back on 99-9 The Rock.
Well, you wouldn't have it any other way between these two teams. Why not? 2016 one possession, 2017 one possession. Same thing last year. We start the fourth. Guard down 13-10. First and 10 from their own 38. Half diamond for Cox. Dominique Watt in motion from right to left. Snap. And it for Jefferson. Off left guard. And he carries Lewis Wallace to the 40-yard line. Right hash mark. Gain of two. Second down and eight. Just not much push. They actually give him the 41, so gain of three. So there, there's been a lot of things that have happened today that kind of make you wonder, kind of scratch your head and wonder, why? Three on the play, I mean, why? Uh, from pregame all the way to now. Yeah. I'm not going to get into what they are, but boy, I'll tell you what. MJ Link left, tight end right, second and seven Garden from their own 41, Cox under center. In an eye formation, give it to Jefferson. Runs left, hits his own offensive lineman and is dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the 38 between the hash marks, he loses three. And now it's third down and 11. And that was Latrell Bankson that tracks him down. Tackle made by Mike, if that's the game plan the rest of the way, it's not gonna get it done. Well, now you have third and long and you're going into the wind. Hey, if I'm Hutch, I match up man-to-man -man with wideouts, and then I pin my ears back and go after it. They have a single high safety, which is Catron Allen. Third and 10, Garden from their own 38. Now 13-10 early in the fourth. Two by two, Cox in the shotgun. Hutch rushes five. Cox, under some pressure, steps up and protects the ball. Maybe gained a yard, going to the left hash mark at the 39. And Cox is slow to get up. And that was Davis on the tackle. Picks up a yard. It's fourth and nine. And boy, that was ugly. That yeah. just got us right where, we're, where they want us. I'll tell you what, if they give up points, Garden City might be in trouble. But I'm telling you, the only way Garden City wins this game is if the defense scores. I think you're right, Mike. And if I'm Ryan Rhodes, I just keep running the football. Yep. Hatchie to punt. See if Hutch sends the house again. They do. Hatchie gets it away. Wobbly spiral. And nice catch by Colvin. A running, diving catch. Colvin. At the 37-yard line. That is a 24-yard punt. Nothing on the return. 12.42 to go in this one. Number four, Hutch leads number five, Garden City, 13 to 10. If you're just tuning in, Hutch has blocked a punt for a score and a two-yard rushing touchdown. Rockbuster took advantage of a Mark Wright interception. 49-yard pick returned by McCullough that set up Jaden Hayes' 17-yard rushing touchdown. Dos Santos Harris missed two field goals for Garden City in that first half. And this is where we stand with Hutch with the ball. And the Blue Dragons today have been outgained 174 to 95, but they have the lead. Right in the pistol. It's Evans behind him. They give it to Evans. Shake and bake off left guard. Carries a pile off left up the left hash mark to the 41. Darius Johnson on the tackle for Garden, along with the linebacker Willie Hampton. Gains four, second down and six. Mike, you're right. I mean, uh, if I'm Ryan Rhodes, I'm running the ball. I'm taking time off the clock because I know Garden can't score on me now. I don't even know what, why are you running no huddle? Well, they're gonna. Second down and five, Hutch from their own 42. A little they're dummy gonna count by right. Yeah, they're gonna take their time, find out where we're in, and then they're gonna choose the best possible play for them. Two by two, Evans to the left of right in the shotgun on second and six. Give it to Evans, find the little crease off left tackle as a first down near the numbers at the 48. Stacked up by Sam Luwala and Willie Hampton. Gain six on second down and five. Evans just, just sit there saying, hey, it takes 10 of you and you still can't get me down. Without Jordan Riley in there, that makes a huge difference. I'm talking about a guy that's 6'5", 310 and is now on the sideline. Yeah, that's tough. First down Hutch. Left hash going with the wind behind them at their own 49, leading 13-10. 11.40 remaining in the fourth quarter. Right in the, in the pistol eye, Collins is back in behind him. Give it to Collins, off right tackle. Gets the edge, cuts back left near another first down. Inside the right numbers, and Krishan Merriweather, the nation's leading tackler, trips him up at the 41 of Garden City. 
That's a gain of 11 and a first down. I'm telling you what, man, <laughs> you're not going to stop them. They're going to keep calling that play until we learn to stop them. Collins, 13 carries for 54. First and 10 Hutch at the Garden City 41. Taking time off the clock with 11.15 to go. And anything, they've already flipped the field. Yep. Two receivers left, one right. Tinsley is the single wide out right. Stacy Marshall, the H back left. And off for Collins, ball in the left hand and track down running left inside the numbers at the 39 by Sam Wallace. Tayshawn Holmes gains two, second down nice and eight. weak side pursuit by Mawala. Hutch is in this position thanks to their special teams, which has really dominated all day. Yep. Second and eight, Hutch. Left hash moving right to left at the Garden 39, leading 13-10. Four and a half a lap, fourth quarter. Pistol eye for right. It's Evans behind him. Single wide out left is Tinsley. Brown and Brom right. Play action right. Steps up, throws on the run. Nowhere near an intended receiver. Mitchell Tinsley was running a drag from left to right at the 20 yard line. There is a flag down. Flag. If I'm Ryan Rhodes, I'm wondering why Wright did not run. He had 30 he yards in front of him. He's got a hold against Hutch. No, I think he might have a personal foul. I think somebody Somebody did something. Yeah, this there. is after the whistle. Yeah, this was after the whistle. This is a dead ball foul. Well, Ollie Gay is saying it's on Hutch, but that doesn't mean much. Yeah, that doesn't mean nothing. I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out the obvious. After the play was over, personal foul, offense number 15, 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. It's third down. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. That was that was you. No, no, correct me if I'm wrong. Why the hell are you throwing the ball? And not only that, yeah, you mentioned Wright could have taken off. Why are you throwing it? Because that pass probably should have been picked off. Yeah. And then you get a personal foul on Evans. Well, I'm just amazed that he did not uh, run the ball. I mean, he had the whole field in front of him. I'm going to say this. You can take it, take it to the bank. Ryan Rose, there's one play per game that you just scratch your head. There it is. Hutch may still win the game. Third and 23 now, so the down counts. Hutch has it at their own 46. Sometimes you can't blame the coach on that, though. You've got to blame the kid. Well, why call that play? Right? And a drop to throw here on third and a mile. Fires down the middle, and it's picked off. Intercepted. Picked off near sideline by Chris Smith. Down the right sideline and inside the 30. Third and 23, and they're throwing the football, and Chris Smith returns it into plus territory. Now that you can scratch your head about. <laughs> Second interception today thrown by Mark Wright. Yeah, that was the one. Why? Yeah. What are you doing? Returns it to the hot 25. For this guy to get National Player of the Week, are you kidding me? He cannot 30, throw the ball. 35 yards. Both return. picks his fault. 10.07 to go here in the fourth. Garden down three. First down from the Hutch, 25. Handed for Jefferson. Right up the middle. Bouncing right, 10. Five. Touchdown. Ramon Jefferson right up the right sideline. 25-yard touchdown set up by another horrendous decision by Mark Wright, and the Brockbusters have taken the lead. Well, I don't know what would put pep in your step other than that right there. That's <laughs> you know how you said earlier, stop trying to outthink yourself? Ryan Rhodes needs to listen. You don't throw the ball on third and 23, unless you have Tom Brady as your quarterback. Dos Santos Ares for the extra point, and it is good. Interception leads to a touchdown. 17-13 Garden on 99-9 The Rock.
Blockbusters back in front. Garden City today has scored 14 points off Hutch turnovers. One a, play on that last drive. And against the win, mind you. 17-13 Garden, 10-01 to go here in the fourth quarter. Dos Santos Ares has it on the tee. It was Chris Smith that made that pick. Now the Blockbuster defense. Been them all day. Spinning short kick. Oh, cover it. Did it go out of bounds? Oh, it went out of bounds. Oh, yeah. it did. Up the far sideline. So Hutch is going to start at the 40 yard line. That doesn't hurt as much as if it stays in play that you have a chance to recover the kick. But guys, I'm going to go around the horn. Let's start with CD. CD, you've been watching football. You're younger than both of us. Third and 23. I mean, the play call is drop back and throw it, right? Yeah. Illegal procedure, kicking team, kicking the ball out of bounds. The ball be placed five yards from where it went out of bounds. First and 10, Hutchison. And just going back to that, I mean, Garden City offense hasn't been able to do anything in this half. And Why are you throwing it? You give them life. First and 10, Hutch now down 17-13. Still a lifetime left in this game, 10 to go. Mark Wright in the shotgun has been picked off twice. Play action right, rainbows right, and that's not even close. And there's a flag down. Check that, no flag, second down and 10. Mike, Allegay, I mean, I don't know what his vertical is, but I'll tell you what, he was up there. He changed the trajectory of that pass. You know what's funny about Ali Gay? He was born in Africa. He was a soccer player when he first came to the United States. Didn't even play football until eighth grade. And now he's the number one defensive end in the country. Second and 10 Hutch at their own 42. Three receivers left, one right, right on the shotgun. Snap, Garden City rushes four, tunnel screen left and it's dropped. Brown had it off his fingertips along the hash mark at the 40. And now some extracurricular afterwards, third and 10 Hutch. Hey, this is a big play, Mike. I don't want to state the obvious here, but this is a big play. You can do that. The bell is, is out in full force. Hutch today on third down is one of nine. On the year, they were 10th in the country on third down percentage. 9.53 to go, fourth quarter. Number five, Garden City, 17. Number four, Hutch, 13. Third and 10 Dragons for their own 42. Trips left. Single wide out right, right in the shotgun. Garden City on a delayed blitz. Right steps up, looks back on a screen. Ooh. He's got his man Collins. Is hit immediately by the hard hitting safety Kenny White. Hit him right underneath the shoulder pad. Right numbers at the 44, gains two, and it's fourth and eight. Okay, we can't have special teams mistakes here, man. We've gotta be smart on special teams. Now, here's the difference between Tom Minnick and Ryan Rose, they will run the ball three times. He, are you disagreeing? All right, you know what? And I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to outthink them. I just, hey, go smash mouth right and here. Hutch stops you, you punt the ball away. Yep. Now you have the lead. You play a little different. Line drive kick. Johnson fields at his own 13 and just falls down. I don't know if he can signal for a fair catch. 43-yard line drive kick along the left numbers. And nothing on the return. So now Garden City's friend becomes the clock as they need to bleed as much as they can. Just tuning in, 9.05 to go, fourth quarter, two heavyweights. It's been a great game defensively for Garden City. They have picked off Mark Wright twice. Both have led to touchdowns, three Hutch turnovers today. And the Blockbusters have a 17-13 lead and the ball with a little over nine to go with their own 13, moving left to right. It's gonna be a heavy dose of Jaden Hayes and Ramon Jefferson. Mark, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, it's pretty dicey down here at the 13. Parker tip-tap motion, the tight end right. Hand it for Hayes, misdirection handoff. Squirts to a little bit of a hole near the 16 yard line off the left hash. And not Durante bad, Davis. plus yardage, plus Durante yardage. Durante Davis, the linebacker on the tackle, gain of three, Ball second and seven. I just go back to that third and a cab ride that they were facing and you throw the ball. You can blame Mark Wright for the pass all you want. The play caller has got to take some responsibility on that, right? Uh, yeah. Second and seven, Garden City for their own 16. MJ Link trots to the near side right. Offset eye left, 
Here's the power with Ramon Jefferson. Cox takes the snap, hands for Jefferson. Up the middle, hit at the line by Davis, and nothing there. Right at the 15, lost a yard, so now third down and eight. Dorente Davis with eight tackles in this game. Again, the difference that you'll see here, there is no way inside your own 20 are you throwing this ball. You set it, the defense had to make a play, they did. The defense is gonna have to win this game. It's 17-13 Garden City. Hutch has won the field position battle for most part of the day. Third and eight Garden from their own 15, leading by four here in the fourth. They are six of 15 on third down. It's Hayes and the Wildcat. Johnson to his left. Fakes it to Johnson. Hayes keeps up the middle. Bouncing left for the 25 and has a first down. Right up the numbers. Kevon Dingle through a block on the edge. Hayes has a That's first huge. down. And Michael, that was huge. Rodney Matthews trips him up. Now you can bleed another two, two and a half minutes off the clock. What a great play call. Mike Orthman has called a gem here in the second half. Yeah. You remember when we were talking about this, and again, the defense has helped. Do you stay with the run, or do you abandon it completely? They stayed with it. Yeah, you gotta stay with it now. Hey, that's been your MO all, all year. Hey, 17 carries for 38. First and 10 Garden from their own 26. Did Hutch call a timeout? Wow. Yeah, Ellis Merriweather out there now. Timeout. Hutchison. Wow. That's their first charge of the half. That's that's big. On first down, Hutch burns a timeout with 7.18 to go in the fourth. 17-13 Garden. Rockbusters. Okay, here are some numbers. I don't like throwing a bunch of numbers out at you. We got to put context around all this, right? Garden City has ran 62 plays to Hutch's 41. The Blockbusters have had the ball for nearly 33 minutes. They have a four-point lead. They force three turnovers against Hutch. The Blue Dragons this year have now given it away 17 times. This was a team that was number one for five straight weeks, and their defense for Hutch today has played like it, yet Garden City still with that four-point lead. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, uh, uh, you got to give it to her at Garden City. I mean, their defense has just been incredible out of this world first and 10 garden city left hash at their own 26 leading 17 13 with 7 18 to go and hutch now down to two timeouts blockbusters also changed the play call cox is back in pistol eye jefferson behind him Watt in motion left to right and a flag now that is a costly penalty false start offense number 78 five-yard penalty remains first down you're in the driver's seat and then that happens that's andrew yeah. theobald you can't do that man you just can't do that holy smoke like don't even worry about moving yeah you gotta hold your water this time of game man God. boy that wind is as cd said it's significant a chilly day here in western kansas it snowed earlier this week Temperatures have plummeted over the last seven to 10 days. First and 15, Garden out their own 21. How about Ramon for 20? Pistol eye for Cox. Hip tap motion to the tight end, Parker. Chest high snap, give it to Jefferson. Tries to crab crawl right, just nothing Ramon there. Jefferson, the ball carrier. To the 20 yard line, might have lost a yard. Rodney Matthews, who has offers from South I Alabama and UMass, an all region defensive lineman from Bartlett, Tennessee on that tackle. Loss of a yard and second down and 16. Under seven minutes now, Mike. But that false start is just a killer. Yeah, it's a killer. You can't play behind the stakes this time of the game. Can't do it. Not have a chance. Second and 16, Garden City from their own 20. 2016, Blockbusters won by two. 2017, Terry Wilson was sacked on the final drive, Hutch won. 2018, the Blockbusters drove 80 yards in the final two minutes. Second and 16, Garden from their own 20. Cox in the shotgun, gives it to Hayes, finds a little running room and fumbles the ball and Garden recovers. Woo. Hayes fumbled on his own account and Julian Clark saves the day, picks it up at the 23, gains three, it's third and 13. I don't know about everybody else, but my heart's kind of in my throat right now. <laughs> John, we're all in the same boat. Six minutes to go, fourth quarter. Garden City's conference title hopes are alive and well. They're up four, they have a third and 13th on their own 23, and thank you, Julian Clark. Do we pass? 
No way. Two by two, Cox and the shotgun. He drops the throw. Quarterback draw, Cox keeps, protects the ball and goes nowhere. To the 21 yard line, gains a yard. Damari Gaines, the defensive end on the tackle. Actually loses two, so that actually goes down as a sack. So excuse me on that, fourth down and 15 now. And the Broncosters have to punt into the wind. And this is where you would expect Hutz to bring the house. Yeah, there's several things, yeah. I mean, this is gonna be a key special teams play right here. Uh, punt game's been an adventure today. Yep. Just get the snap back, get it off. Patchy to punt from inside his own 10. All I know is I'm bringing the kitchen sink here. Snap back, rugby style kick. Patchy gets it away. Low line drive kick. Fielded by Colvin at the Broncoster 48 down the right sideline to the 30. So an 18 yard return following a 27 yard punt. Special teams tackled by Adrian Hopper. Right, we made that tackle. <laughs> Hutch needs a touchdown. Defense. Defense really gonna get tested on this drive. Yeah, this is gonna be it right here. 4.54 to go. Hutch starts first and 10 at the Garden City 30. That's a great job by Patchy to get that off. But Hutch, it's Ryan Rhodes, you're set up with great field position. Now, if, if, if I'm Ryan Rhodes, I'm giving to my, I'm giving to Evans. So you got Evans out there. I'm gonna make him be the, the workhorse right First here. and 10 Hutch at the Garden City 30, 17-13 Garden. Less than five to go here in the fourth quarter. This is Mark Wright keeping it himself and finds running room near the 15. Kenny White was there to save a touchdown. That's a gain of 15 first down. Perfect time to call that. First down and 10, Hunt at the Garden City 15. Two receivers left and right. Right in the pistol eye, snap. Give it for Evans, surges up the middle, runs into a wall near the 11. Josh Artis and Ryan McLean finish him off, gain a four second down and six. Anyway, you slice it, we gotta stop him three straight times here. Yeah, they have to score a touchdown. I know that. With this offense, how they've played today, that's a daunting task, but they've got the weapons. Second and six Hutch at the Garden 11, down 17, 13, 420 left here on the fourth. Brom comes to the near side left, Brown slot right, Mitchell Tinsley wide right. Right, the transfer from Ellsworth and the shotgun. Hands for there Evans, comes to the near side left, 10, five, touchdown. And Hutch is back on top with 404 to go in the fourth. 19-17 on an 11 yard rushing touchdown by Evans. I'm surprised they don't, well, I'm not. I couldn't make an extra point. Now the extra point, and this is big. Sebastian Garcia, sophomore from South Carolina. Hutch only has 10 guys on the field. Play clock's at seven. They might have to call another timeout. Down to three. And now Garden City has a late guy coming on. Play clock expires. Is this a delay of game? Did they get a timeout? Delay right, of game. Delay of game. Offense. Number, number 14. Five yard penalty. Retry. But now you're asking Garden City's offense to drive the length of the field in yep. the wind. Yep. And now you have Hutch's defense that can tee off. Yep, and they will. Try this again. Garcia for the PAT, low snap, and it's blocked! Blocked by Avery Thornton. Blockbusters pick it up, this is Anthony Jordan. Running back, and he might have stepped out of bounds, he did at the 23. So Jordan steps out, PAT is blocked, and that is big because a field goal wins it. 404 remaining here in the fourth quarter. 1917 Hutch on 99.9 The Rock.
Alongside John Ford, CD DeSavo, Mike Kilosov, three plays, 30 yards, and Hutch took him just 50 seconds to regain the lead. The extra point was blocked. And now a kick sails into the end zone, and Johnson bobbles it. He, I think he was thinking about taking that out. Well, takes a knee. So Garden City starts at their own 25 now. So now you you put basically everything on your offense, which has struggled to move the ball consistently all day. And you know it's a, a hey, like I said from the beginning, a field possession, a uh, field position game. I mean, when Hutch has got the short field, it makes it very easy for them to score. 19-17 Hutch. Garden has all three timeouts. They're down 20 to 17, excuse me, 19-17. First down Garden from their own 25. Cox drops to throw. Steps up in the pocket and goes down. Back at the 19 yard line. Sacked by Latrell Bankston. Loss of five, it's second and 15. And now you're working from behind the six. Yeah, it doesn't look good now. His defense, which has keyed off all day, thinking Garden City's gonna run, and for the most part, they have. They need some David Moore magic from last year. Second and 15, Garden from their own 20. Link comes right with Parker. Jefferson trots in motion from right to left. Two receivers go left. Cox again drops to throw. Quick out to the near side, almost intercepted at the 23, looking for Parker. Undercut by Navy Harris, the backup linebacker, third and 15. Third and 15, Garden from their own 20. Down 19-17. What do you have on third and long? Broadbusters need to get to the 35-yard line for a first down. Dingle and Johnson come right. MJ Link and Bryce Parker left. Hayes to the right of Cox in the shotgun. Cox changes the protection. Play clock at five. Cox staring down a seven-man pressure. Rolls right, the 6'9 quarterback back at his own five, stays on his feet, throws at the last second, bobbled and dropped at the 30-yard line, left sideline. Cox fell awkwardly that time. It was Davis that put the pressure on him. And it's fourth and 15, and Garden goes three and out. Got a punt. Well, there's no question. to punt from his own six. Somehow got to get this away first off. Already had one block return for a touchdown. Garden's got a lot of obstacles ahead of him. 3-12 remaining. Nathan Hatchie to punt. Here they come. Hatchie gets it away. High end over end kick. And it hits a Brockbuster player around the 41 of Garden City. That's a 21 yard punt and nothing on the return. So either way, Hutch is winning the field position battle and it's not close. I'll tell you what, and the difference very well might be the punter. 3.02 to go here in the fourth quarter. Alongside John Ford, CD DeSalvo, Mike Kilosoff, Hutch 19, Garden City 17. Garden has to pull one out of the hat now. Down by two, they've got all three timeouts. You don't have to use them right away. You gotta stop the run game. You gotta stop that get the ball back, you gotta protect Nate Cox. Yep. It's gonna be a heavy dose, at least we think, of number 15 and number one. Evans to the left right now of right. Stacy Marshall's the tight end right with two receivers right. First and 10 Hutch at the Garden 40. And it for Evans, going to the boundary right, first down and more. Kenny White tracks him down, shoves him out near the 20 yard line. Out of bounds at the 17, gain of 23. Evans is absolutely taking over. A touchdown puts this game away. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. Touchdown makes it an eight point game. You still gotta kick the extra point. Second. So now first and 10, Garden City. They need a stop. Hutch at the Brockbuster 17 yard line. Right on the shotgun to his left is Evans. Kinsley slot right, Rom wide right, play clock at five. Right foot in front of his left, 
Snap and a handoff to Evans. Going right and shut down, maybe near the line of scrimmage. And Evans is hurt. Avery Thornton and Willie Hampton tripped him up. And they marked him down at the 18, loss of a yard at second down and 11. Mark Wright's holding his left hand too. That might be a saving grace for Hutch. I mean, I don't, you don't want anybody getting hurt, but Mark Wright has been, has not been very good. I'll tell you what, I, I'm very impressed with Evans and Colin. I think those two backs right there keep them in a lot of games. That and their defense. The quarterback hasn't impressed me at all. Well, here's the question. Let's say it gets to a third down. You got the win behind you. Do you kick a field goal? Field goal makes it a five-point game. Oh, you kick a field goal. Well, here's why I ask. Because if you miss the field goal, Garden City has pretty good field position. And they've also oh, blocked extra points. Trust my defense there. Timeout, Garden City. That's their first charge of the half. Why is Garden City charged a timeout when they had an injured player? Did they take one? Is that possible? Oh, goodness. Hutch had an injured player, so that automatically stops the clock. So why is Garden City now charged with a timeout? And that's huge. There's no two-minute warning in college football. Did I miss something? Please point it out know, if I, I did. I don't know why you would take Minnick a timeout. Minnick is not upset at all. Well, you have a second and 11 when we resume play. 1917 Hutch regaining the lead on Evans' 11-yard rushing touchdown. Hutch, I mean, Garden was playing with fire. And that, boy, go back to that false start on that first down. Huge. On Andrew Theobald. Huge. Just, you can't have it. But that's not the, you know, that's. That's not why they, they're yeah, behind. That was, that's, that's a microcosm. One of the many things that they've done today that have just hurt them so bad. Second and 11. Hutch at the Garden 18, leading 19-17 with 2.19 to go in the fourth. Right in the pistol. Aaron Collins behind him. The transfer from North Carolina State. Snap, hand to Collins. Juke move at the line, and he goes right. Down to the 11-yard line. Garden City uses another timeout. Willie Hampton trips him up again. Check that to 16, not the 11. Gain of two, now it's third and nine. Mike, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is ball game right here. Timeout, Garden City. That's their second charge of the half. They don't stop him here, it's over. Hutch gets a first down, the game is over. Yeah, the game's over. And you have third and nine. And if you're Garden City, look, Hutch is gonna have everybody in there blocking. It's man on man, and you gotta beat him to the ball carrier. See, it seems simple enough, it's not. With this mammoth offensive line, Hutchinson. 315, 337, 300, 347, and 338. Hutchinson's been really successful bouncing runs out. And if they get a bounce out here, they're going to get an easy first down, I think. Nin Maybe even a touchdown. 1917. At that point, if you're Garden City, you let them score. You have to let them score. Because if they get a first down and stay in bounds, game's over. Yeah. But if you let them score, and again, I'm thinking of all possibilities. That makes it an eight-point game. Then you have to block the extra point. Yeah. I know that there's so many different scenarios, but how about just get a stop on third and nine? Here we go. I'll tell you, any title hopes? Right here. Or right here. Third and nine, Hutch at the Garden 16. Brom comes to the near side left. Tinsley goes right. Hutch is one for 10 on third down. Pistol eye for right. Marshall the tight end in motion left to right. Snap. And off for Collins up the middle and shut down. Jair Jones laid a hat right on the shoulder pad to knock him down. No gain, it's fourth and nine. They're gonna go for the field goal. Got the win by Time out. Time out, Garden City. That's their third and final of the game. So this field goal from right here is about 34 yards. Sebastian Garcia has not attempted a field goal all season. I'll tell you what would be wild here. Well, yeah, he must have. He tried that one at Highland, right? Well, I mean, he hasn't, I should say, he hasn't made a field goal. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I will tell you this. Uh, wouldn't it be something if we blocked the field goal and take it to the house? On this type of a day, when your offense is struggling to move the ball, it's not out of the question to think that's, that's how you have to win the game. Yeah, it's wishful thinking. 
which is why I don't even take a chance going for the field goal. But and maybe Ryan Rhodes changes his mind in the huddle. Well, I'll tell you what, if you don't make it a fourth down, you, you Clark Silly still got to go the length of field, so it might be better just to run a play here. But see, if you're Hutch, you can throw the ball now on fourth yeah. down because Garden City's out of timeouts. Yeah, I mean, shoot. And you're in no man's land. Here's the problem. If Hutch would have made that extra point, I'd say they'd probably go for it. But because it was blocked, it's only a two-point game. A field goal beats you. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what they decide. In a long timeout. Garden led 10-6. After Jaden Hayes touchdown following a DJ McCullough 49-yard interception return. Hutch took the lead before the half. And they're going for it. They are going for it. And they're gonna throw the ball. Yep, they're gonna throw the ball. This is the game right here. Fourth and nine, Hutch at the Garden 16. Three receivers left to right. Watch for the quarterback draws. It's an empty set for right. Yep. Snap. There he goes. Quarterback draw. Up the middle, he's not close. Willie Hampton read it all the way. No gain, and the blockbusters take over. Nice defense. Nice defense. Fourth down stop for Garden with 2.01 to go. And again, you wonder on the play call because a field goal beats you. Unless he's got so much confidence, which I would, in that defense. Mike, if I'm Ryan Rose, I don't care about play calls. I got a 19-17 lead over you, and you got to drive the field. Garden City with no timeouts has to drive 85 yards, similar to last year. Down by two, two minutes to go. Three receivers come right, one left. Cox in the shotgun. To his left is Hayes. Takes the snap, four-man rush. Well protected, floats it down the middle, and Johnson's got it. Near the 25-yard line right hash, working on Jacorian Bennett. That's a gain of nine. Check that. I give him the 25. It's a gain of 10 and a first down. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. First and 10 Garden from their own 25. Back to throw Cox. Floats to the near side. Batted up in the air looking for Link. Yes. And there's the flag. Pass interference on Justin Gardner. Remember, they need a field goal to win it. Never got turned around. They are on their feet at Blockbuster Stadium. 1917 Hutch, 143 to go. Blood pressure medication is to my right. <laughs> Tom Minnick just swallowed the whole bottle. Defense, defense, number six. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. It is first down. Puts the ball at the 40 now. First and 10 Garden City from their own 41. 143 to go, fourth quarter. Out of timeouts now, 19-17. Two receivers left, two right. Hutch crowds the line. Cox drops back. Wants it all. Rainbows near sideline for Link, and he drops it at the Hutch 27. It was there on a perfectly thrown ball, and it's second and 10. You got to make that catch. Yep. Justin Gardner on the coverage, second and 10. Perfectly thrown by Nate Cox, who's now nine of 23 for 87 yards. Second and 10 going into the win. Down 19-17 with a minute 38 to go at their own 41. Two receivers left, two right. Cox in the shotgun. Hutch again showing blitz, here they come. Hayes with a chip block. Cox rolls right, throws back to the middle of the field and it's almost intercepted. Katron Allen had a Taylor made pick in the middle That's of the field. Intended for Dingle, it's third and 10, and Cox Dingle got away with one. Now here, you don't go for it all. You try to get a little bit of the yardage. That way on fourth end, you got a very manageable down to make you first down. How did he not intercept that ball? You know, I go back to Super Bowl 23, uh, Bengals 49er. Joe Montana drives them down the field and he should have been intercepted in the end zone. He wasn't, they dropped it. Next play, it's John Taylor for a touchdown. Yeah. Third and 10, Garden from their own 41. Three receivers left, one right. Cox takes the snap, four-man twist. Screen right to Hayes. Tries to turn the corner, cannot. And now it's a fourth down on the season on the That's line. Yep. This is it. Out to the 41, 
No gain, fourth and no 10. No on the play, it'll bring up fourth down and 10. How big is that drop by Link? 113 to go, right back to the line. Fourth and 10, Garden from their own 41. Two by two, Cox and the gun. Stands in, fires down the middle, he's got Parker, fumbles the ball. Are they gonna say incomplete? Incomplete, oh my goodness. Parker caught it, and now they're saying it's incomplete. Bryce Parker had the ball and he made a football move, and they're saying incomplete. Hold on, they're talking about it. They better change this call. That's absolutely the wrong call. That was a catch. Bryce Parker caught it, fumbled it, fell back on top of it. He did that all with a football move. This should be a first down. Well, he caught it, and then the hit caused the fumble. Question is, did we recover the fumble? We did. Okay, so then uh, that should be this, our ball first this down. This is the game. This is the yeah. game right here. You can't make a mistake like this, officials. You cannot make a mistake. It would be at the plus 39 with 102 to go. That is an absolute catch. CD, did he not take two steps? Yes. Almost like a travel with a basketball. Absolutely. And then the then, then the hit is what forced the ball loose. You got and then Parker is able to grab the football and recover it. The presence of mind by Parker, this is the biggest call of the year. And they are taking forever. It's got to be. To me, it's they're figuring out where the ball is. Yeah. Bruce Pinkles, the white hat today. 19-17, Hutch with a minute to go. This is absolutely catastrophic if they go the other way because it was a catch and then a fumble. Yeah. First down. It's first down. All and well. they called the a catch. on the field. It's the player who made a catch, an athletic move. He it's dropped the ball, ball and recovered it. Result of the play, first and 10, Garden City. No kidding. First and 10, Brock Busters at the Hutch 39. 102 to go. What a throw again by Cox. Lane goes left. Three receivers left, one right. 19-17, Hutch. Garden out of timeouts, first and 10. From the Hutch 39. Cox is now 10 of 26 for a buck 07. He's got Hayes on his right hip. They need a field goal to win it. Snap. Cox stands in. Down the middle and ah, hits. Toyvon Johnson right in the shoulder pad and he drops it incomplete. Second and 10. Johnson is incomplete. It'll bring up second down and 10. Second and 10, the usually sure-handed Troy Von Johnson. Guys, that was a laser by Nate Cox. Into the wind, second and 10 with 54 seconds. Garden at the Hutch, 39. Down 19, 17 on the four. Two receivers left and right. Shotgun for Cox. Hutch on a stunt. Play's blown dead. Timeout. Mm. Hutch calls a timeout. Should be two seconds left. Timeout. Hutchison. That'll be their second charge of the half. Please put 54 seconds. That's what I thought. Five four on the game clock. All right, CD. I'm gonna Thank bring you. I'm gonna bring you in on this. 1917. Garden City down two. 54 seconds to go. Realistic. You're down there with the win. Where would you have to get to kick a game-winning field goal? And keep this in mind. A side note. I spoke to Dos Santos Eris last week, and I asked him. Game on the line, pressure field goal. He goes, Mike, I'm making it 100%. But he didn't keep into consideration the hurricane force wins. We got right, CD? I, at least the 10. I mean, it's... It's going to have to be close. He's talking about 29 yards. And the thing about it is it's going to have to be on the right hash because that wind is taking it to, to the, the uh, far hash. Yeah. And, and he's so, missed two already. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, on his extra points, he's always had a ball that kind of fades to the left second with this win. Second and 10, Garden, right half, moving left to right. At the Hutch, 39, 54 seconds to go. They're out of timeouts, and they're down 19-17. Conference championship on the line. Two receivers left to right. Cox in the shotgun. Hutch again rushes three, drops eight. Cox looks, pass batted up in the air. Incomplete, right numbers at the 30 for Link. Coverage by Davis. 
third and ten. As they undercut Passing that route. For MJ Link is incomplete. Third and ten, Garden City at the Hutch 39. You don't move the ball from here. Adam and Terry wouldn't kick this field goal. You know, the question is, could you run the ball here? Third and ten for the Hutch 39. Three receivers left, one right. Cox in the gun, chest high snap. Well protected, fires down the middle, and it's ah. caught by Parker. Right near the sticks, and it's fourth down. If he catches that, he's about a yard shy of the first down, but yeah. that changes your play calling on fourth down. Fourth and 10, they have one fourth down conversion on this drive and it went to Parker. What on earth are the officials talking about? I have no idea. Fourth and 10 Garden for the Hutch 39 with 47 seconds to go. This, in a nutshell, is the game down 1917. Yep, this is it. I'm not sure what the officials are talking about. Maybe the clock. Uh, try, probably talking about an Please exit. Please reset anyway. the game clock to 45 seconds. 4-5. Thank you. Fourth and 10. 45 seconds to go, 1917 Hutch. Cox in the gun. Two receivers left and right. Takes the snap. Here comes Hutch with a four-man rush. Cox fires down the middle, and it's caught! MJ oh Lincoln's my got it! A diving catch at the 22! Right in front of Davis. MJ Link for the moment saves the day. Gain of 17 on fourth and 10. First down Garden, they clock it at the 23 with 35 seconds. What? That's making up for that drop. Uh, wow, what a catch by MJ Link. And Cox gets hit while throwing that one. Ball doesn't come out clean. That was yeah. a wobbly duck. That was amazing, amazing throw and amazing catch. Second and 10, Garden, down 19-17 with 35 seconds to go. Ball resting on the right hash, moving left to right at the Hutch 23. They are without a timeout. But remember, you can work the middle of the field. Clock stops if you get a first down. Two receivers, left and right. Wide right is Link, just made that big catch. Shotgun snap. Zone option read, Cox keeps. And he's tracked down. Yeah, the 24, tackle by Rodney Matthews. Now do you run one more play, try to get the first down? I'm saying, yeah. Third down and nine, you still need, they're not gonna clock it. So now it's fourth down, and here comes Dos Santos Harris. Oh my goodness gracious. 39 alive. yarder into the win, they are on the right are you hash. you kidding me? Oh. Oh my gosh. This for the win with 19 seconds to go. Into a 30 mile an hour breeze, 39 yarder. Just to put Garden City in front and Hutch's gonna try and ice the kicker. If Dos Santos Eris makes this, he'll be the prime minister in Brazil. And he'll also be the mayor of Garden City. CD, is it possible? Guys, I'm standing directly behind the goalposts here. Not as windy as it was a few minutes ago, but if you look at the American flag behind me, please, please it's blowing directly against seconds where they're the game kicking. Clock. 17, thank you. 39 yarder, 17 seconds to go. Garden down 19, 17. Dos Santos Eris long field goal this year, 43. He's missed two today. This to take down the former number one. Snap, placement, kick on the way to the upright. It is good! It's good! Woo! Dos Santos Harris oh thrills it from 39. And the Blockbusters take the lead with Guys, 14 seconds. Snuck it in the bottom left corner. God, <laughs> that is awesome. 14 seconds to go on 99.9 The Rod.
20 to 19 Garden. 14 seconds remaining. Alongside John Ford, CD DeSavo, Mike Pilosov. The Blockbusters Conference title hopes still intact. This one's gonna probably stay on the ground. But all Hutch needs is a field goal to win it. Remember that. And they do send one to the right. And this is Evans at his own 30 yard line. Get him. Evans to the near side at midfield. Spins back right. Final three seconds. Evans has room to the right sideline and his it's shot over. Rounds. And the game is over. Hutch. It's over. Hutch tries to return the punt. Evans is knocked down at the 30 yard line. And the Blockbusters survive as they storm the field here in Garden City. The Blockbusters take down the former number one. Woo! <laughs> Unbelievable finish into the wind to a San 